There you go. Yay! Welcome back to the Drama Geese Islands. Last time so we left drama. off, you uh, you were in a basement. Yeah. Well, a last time, la our last time we left off, I punched a cleric in the face. Yep. And then uh, we and went our separate ways. And none of you have let it go yet. And well, because you just dropped, you uh, essentially pulled a cliffhanger on us. True. That's true. Very true. Yeah. yeah. Like, and I'm, well, I'm just going to have courage enough. wait over here because he's he, he's a spooked kitty. He is Aww. a spooked uh, so, Chicken, yeah. for the entirety that we are in this basement, uh, keep in mind that Hazy Thoughts does have blind sense to uh, incorporeal and ethereal creatures uh, at 30 feet at all times. Constantly. Basically, if, if, if we meet ghosts, she can go, ghosts, and then run away. <laughs> Nah, 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 she's never gonna go, k -k 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 go. She's gonna start making a huge, uh, a loud beeping noise. Beep, 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 Danger, beep, beep, Rob. beep. Danger. Yeah. Anyway, considering I have dark vision and I'm also the resident coward, I'm gonna not be in front. That is a Yeah, bad and considering I'm extremely squishy, I'll just stay here in the middle. That's yeah. probably a good idea. Chuckle. I'll be in front so I can punch people. Yes, Chaco, fill out idea. that, fill out that hallway with your massive body. There you go. Media, do the same. If you hold on. massive me, body. Hold on, give me a second. Um, so I'm just going to leave that, that little radius. I uh, put it on dark enough so that it doesn't like That's okay. obscure the level. How many okay. feet is it? It's 30 feet. Right. 30 oh, foot got, radius. I forgot also, to change the amount of light you meant. There we go. Yeah, I'm going to throw Media a, uh, an, a potion of enlarged person. Bop, bop. Okay. So can I get control of Wave Splitter again? Why yep. not hand out Just extracts? Just a moment. Huh? Why not because, hand out extracts? Because the potion is for emergencies, the extract is for actually use. But then why not hand her that too? Because I can't trust her with that shit right now. Are you gonna drink it? Maybe. We'll see. I think he means he doesn't want me to use it and then punch you in the face. That is also true. You get, you will get the extract when he tries that, Connor. But you can look, just hand her the we... extract. You can drink no. it whenever the fuck she wants. No, look. Then I get to drink my potion. You get to drink the extract, and then we just have a giant kaiju fight. Yep. No, you're missing the point. Like the entire one of the biggest, one of the biggest things that alchemists get is their ability to literally hand out a, a buff and a bottle. Yeah. It's so true. you don't have to spend time in the middle of a fight to hand off the bottle. Well, just now, a thing. now, as far as I'm aware, blind sense is blind sense just means that I know when one is around, right? Yeah, basically. I don't know, like I don't know the direction. You're relying on another sense that isn't vision. Yep. Right, but I don't mm -hmm. know. I don't know where they are. Uh, you, no. Yes, you do. Yeah, you do. Oh, I do. Yes, you. Although you cannot see through walls. And your ADI should be good now. Yeah. All right, now fat horse, onward. Onward. He's not fat. He's uh, also he's Hoon. You might want to keep up. <laughs> he's so we're... fat. He's a size category larger than us. Yep. Yeah, also, us as as we're going down this hallway, Hazy Thoughts basically mm -hmm. just undoes the clasp to the cloak that's around him, and then just puts that in the puts that in his bag of holding. <laughs> because I mean, he I've just given you the talk about branding, right? <laughs> and so what you see underneath is this beautifully ornate uh, rosewood armor sure uh, we've uh, had this talk about branding right like you're a living creature why call yourself the ghost pony in the middle of a country that despises the un undeath brand recognition uh, it's what uh, we are. I assume Courage uh, runs off. But you could call yourself the, something uh, better. In... Something that isn't likely to get you lynched. Wait, what the fuck is this about ghost ponies? Shit. I mean, if you, turn around, if you turn around, if you turn around, you'll see ghost you'll see hazy thoughts in like full full battle armor. But 
I, I, I get it. You have a connection to the ethereal plane, but... Really? That doesn't make you a ghost, and it'll make you dead here. Think of your... Think of the family. Think of the children. <laughs> When your people can, be, when your people can become incorporeal and go between the ethereal and material realm at will, what do we call ourselves other than ghosts? Uh, fuck's sake! My, I, I learned how to poison people in kindergarten. Does, that doesn't up, make yo. us poison horses. That's my <laughs> yeah. secret. It might. Also, here's the thing. I think the ghost ponies just have a shitload of business cards printed out, so they can't really change their name right now. Because <laughs> yeah. come on, they, they would go to waste. Horses. No, they would go to waste if you change the, the ghost pony thing. Oh yes, Zephyr. I'm going to hand uh, Charcoal Gray the key to open the damn door. Also, okay. Zephyr PM do something. Oh, did you? Yep. Okay. Uh, I yeah. forgot that Skype was not pulled up on my computer. Because it was dinging. I think Chango should roll intelligence to see if he can actually use the key. <laughs> or if he just eats it. Charcoal hey! is dumb, but not that dumb. <clears throat> what if I tell you the key is made out of chocolate? I am rolled in. I, I would green. lick it first. before I would smell or lick it before I just took a goddamn bite of it. There's actually good information oh, if I ever want to poison. Just put it in already. If I ever want to poison your this, character. He has a high wisdom and not a high intelligence. Yeah. He's done this before and knows not to do it again. <laughs> okay, chicken. Yeah, so I open... Are you sure this is chocolate? I only have so many molars. PM do. As I thought. <laughs> this is still good to know if I ever want to poison his character. Are we already? Are we already passing uh, murder notes? Uh, yes. No. Yes. Of course not. I am passing all the notes of the murder. Yes. Anyway, so I I think he said he opens the door. Yep. Okay. You try to open the door, but the key doesn't fit. Time to break it open then. Just force the are key. Are we in sure there. this was the right key? Uh, let's door. try the other door down below, or down the other way. Come or, we on. Could just, or we could just break that door open with, you know, brute force. We okay. tried that, that already. I don't think that's a very good idea, considering that this place is literally falling apart. I'd rather not have to go all the way up there to get brute force. I'd rather not have rocks fall on me. We need, like, an animantine dagger or something. <laughs> yeah, where would we get one? Uh, with... A particularly high amount of gold and we a large well. enough city. I mean, we're in a pirate's cove. Yeah, but. Yeah. But I mean, do we need an adamantine dagger for it anyway? I mean, that is good, but. Hmm? To cut through a door safely. Yeah. That's Connor did point. that. It, it shears metal like it's nothing. And Connor you did go that through the... the... Yeah, I'll try the key on the door here. The key rattles in the lock, and you hear Whoa, a click. Wait a this moment. door swings open. <gasps> okay, but uh, anyway, seriously, Connor did this in the first campaign. We ran into a steel door, and he just cut it open with an adamantine dagger. Took forever, so hey. Yeah, we took the, it literally we took, took hours. Then we took the door back with us. Uh, it, it would not take hours. I would have, We had this conversation. It would have taken me hours if I tried cutting the door. All right, you I cut, cut the hinges. The hinges. Yeah, and then Stop, we took the... Jackal. Then we stole the door. That was great. We Chuckle did steal the door. Media. There is a giant uh, hole in the floor. Oh. oh. Okay. You will have to ac uh, acrobatics your way over there. <laughs> well, Fly. that's not happening. That's not happening today. Fly, my I can tell you that much. Fly. Damn it, the one time we don't have, like, a, half a party of flying creatures. <laughs> yeah. I know. Mm. Hold on. So how 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 uh difficult does this acrobatics jumping look? It doesn't look too difficult. It looks it's about like just a, a hop, skip, and a jump. Ten feet jump, um, but we can't do a running deep, jump. Uh, how deep is the hole? It is. It is fifteen feet uh, deep. Fifteen feet deep. Okay. okay does it um, does it just end in like jagged spikes? It oh. ends in rubble. 
Oh, well, what we could do. Okay, what we could I do. I have an idea. Charcoal, get in the hole. No. <laughs> well, um, he's not 15 anything... feet tall. You go down the any... hole. Is there anything above? <laughs> is there anything above us, like on the ceiling? I that I that we could like grab that we could like attach a rope to. The ceiling is made of stone. It does uh, seem like there are some jutting out, but hey, actually, they seem raggedy. Okay, I have an idea. Loose. Actually. Okay. Is the uh, idea yeah. just jump over? Well, here's the thing. It's a 10 feet jump. We can't make a running jump, so we can actually fail that if we're too stupid. And we all stupid. Uh, okay, so uh, hey, apparently not... Wastefooter is starting with the jump. We He's uh, could... doing a regular 20. <laughs> huh? Um, what was that? We got a 17 for acrobatics. Nice. Well, that should be enough, I think. It is enough. He fishtails his way over there. I wanted to <laughs> say we could embiggen um, and charcoal and could literally be our bridge because he then can he can just run, like reach over. Yep. But that works too. Anyway, wave split. Uh, wave split makes a galloping start and leaps into the air as graceful as an eagle piloting a plane. I wait a moment. No, he has he has fins though, doesn't he? No, he ha he has all his feet. Okay, he still can't do a running start though. He's uh, he's the pony finder oh, sea shit. pony, not the uh, <laughs> all right. normal sea pony. Charcoal. A charcoal immediately tries uh, tries to um, try uh, tries to mimic the amazing feat of acrobatics that Wave Splitter uh, managed and lands himself face first in the hole. Like he trips over the edge of it, and now he's in the hole. Oh, um, shit. So Hazy Thoughts is just gonna go ahead and just manifest his tentacles while we've got the time. I regret nothing. Luckily, the hole is too shallow to really cause any harm when falling into it. Uh, I look at Daisy Thoughts and then wonder how she's still alive. <laughs> is she derm? Hey, chicken? Yeah? Send you a link. Alrighty. There. How do you expect you to Why, is it, in uh, why is it dumb to be preparing for combat? It's Why you could give some warning that you're gonna like spawn freaky weird ghost tentacles out of your fucking face. That is kind of weird. Yeah. Uh, technically they're just like coming out of just like no, right no, over my shoulders from portals. I climb back but, out. No, it doesn't matter where exactly they're coming from. They're coming out of your fucking nuts are all that matters. The all fact right. that you just like, oh hey, I'm gonna, gonna try and try and thing. do her luck. Oh goddamn! Bam! Well, holy <laughs> oh, shit. shit! Super jumped. Permafrost manages to glide gracefully through the air and Ooh. dance like a battle like on, the on the other side of the hole. I like to think Carbon Copy is just, you know, helping her. He's he's just fluttering above yep. her head, just holding her. That's how she glides. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, me meanwhile, Charcoal just kind of climbs out. Hey, yep. that's going to go ahead and jump. Fish wants to oh, know if Charcoal kinda, is okay. I, uh, Failed what? my I failed okay, my I jump, so I kind of just time. fell in, and then I just climbed out the hole, and I'm okay. Uh, by the way, uh, you guys, we actually get a plus four for acrobatics here. Uh, twenty-two. Oh. Because we have we, we have we have more we have more than thirty feet land speed. Oh. Oh yeah, oh, we yeah. do get a plus four for jumping. Yep. Yeah. That is true. I forgot about that. Even though I I freaking aced my roll. Yep. <laughs> And that means that, um... Darko would have made it then. No, he yeah, wouldn't. He could, no, did he see his 15? <laughs> oh, that is right. Uh, oh, no, it's 10 oh, well. jump. He sees uh, 10. No, wait, he didn't roll for it. Never mind. Is it only 10 yep. feet? I, sorry. Yeah. No, it's... I rolled I rolled for hazy right. thoughts. No, he's the DC right. is he, the number of feet you need to jump. I thought it was 15 feet. Uh. No, you're right. He would, would have made it. Yep. He would have made it with the 10. Yeah. But... I thought it was 15 feet too. Oh, well. No, Who's go size? Okay. Realizes he's not at all acrobatic in any <laughs> sense of the word. This whole ten dexterity. <laughs> uh, he will take off his armor, I take off his help. shield, throw it in his pack. I want to. I wanted to help you actually. Uh, I can use all the help I could get. Okay, let me get over there first. Uh... Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just. Oh, yep. I stand. Yep. I, 
Yeah, I stand so. with I stand with my back to the hole and do a backflip over it just to throw up. Aliyup. Aliyup. And then I'm gonna throw a rope to Usko. <laughs> Another. Yeah. Uh, Usko will throw his uh, will throw his pack across the pit, and then he will make attempt to make the jump. Yeah. So what do I roll for? Well, Aiden first you'll. Uh, it, it, you need to hit a DC 10. And you no, I mean, I mean, do I roll the same acrobatics thing again? Oh, yeah, you just roll acrobatics, you hit a DC 10, then I get a plus two. There you go. <laughs> and I'll cast guidance on myself for whole uh, stinking plus one. <laughs> I kind of I kinda oh, hope shit. you roll a one. <laughs> I'm not gonna... Oh, that um... <laughs> Just hold on to that roll. What's the... Yep. What's the... What's the... Is the rubble, like, go down kind of in a slope going down from one side to, and then going back up the other side? Yep. Okay. It yeah. is I just, kind of, I just wanted to just climb, I just wanted to climb my way, you know, through the hole. Perfectly viable option. Would take longer, right, but yeah. So plus four for that, for movement speed. Plus one for guidance, and plus two for it, now there's plus seven. Ah! <laughs> okay. Get it. <laughs> I'm gonna just I'm, fucking barely though. Yeah, I'm, I yank it's at the not rope. A super elegant landing. I yank at the rope and just guide him over. Just, whoop, there you go. <laughs> um, oh, this is for media. Um, eleven. Can you I can it. I climb climb down the hole then back out the hole? Uh, no, you could straight up make the jump. It's a DC ten. Yep. yep. And you get a plus four. Actually, no, you don't because you're slow. I was gonna say I'm also wearing half plate armor. So yeah. My, so you would... I have a pen, armor penalty check. Yeah, but uh, that's eleven would still be enough. So you could make it. Uh, that's why I took off uh, my uh, my breastplate so I can actually get my movement bonus. <laughs> I'm gonna stow away my robe again. Fine. I will then put my pants back on. Context. <laughs> 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 yeah, Context. So, so chicken. Do I do I make it over around? Do I make it like down the hole and back up the hole? Media go down the hole. She also go back up the hole. She should stay in the hole. Thanks. I gotta go. Alright. Oh. See you later. All Bye. Big <laughs> okay. I guess we. Uh, Haze, Hazy thoughts is gonna move up to the door. Does he? Does he sense anything from the other side? Well, that depends on what you're trying to sense. I'm using my blind sense to see if there's any any ghosts around. Did you forget the thing about walls? You can. Doors count as walls. Yeah, oh, that is it. true. If you roll perception, you can try and hear. Open something. the damn door first. Act, no, look for traps first, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Actually, that's a good point. Roll your perception. Look for traps, then open the door. Okay. Who has good perception among us anyway? Uh, I don't. Media. Carbon copies are oak. Let him do it then. Right. Say, Carpen will scrutinize the... Oh, Fish has a plus nine for that. I'm going to roll that. Oh, nice. Yeah, Carbon only has a plus seven. Can I actually, I can't yeah. move his token. Uh, and so. this, only has is, plus... this is for media. 24 to find traps. <laughs> nice. He finds a completely blank and trapless door. Whew. Media sees nothing. <laughs> media thinks the door is littered with traps. Yep. Every single splinter is a trap to me. The door itself will actually eat you. It's mm -hmm. a mimic! It's a mimic! <laughs> ah! 23 for permafrost. You too believe that the door is completely trapless. Fish wants to open the portal. Also, I can't move his token. Fish got a 10! <laughs> no, I no, rolled for fish. Yep. Oh, you rolled for him. Okay, never mind. That's a 24. Fish wants to move the portal? Well, if Usko has oh, it, wants okay. I have a straight d20. If we already established that there are no traps. Now we want there to open no the door. There are no traps on the door, and you open it. Anyway, I can't, I can't move the waste splitter token. So, I've, I've got waste splitter. Yep. Okay. Ben has waste splitter. So you move him. I can also do Usko too, but yeah. You should. The okay. door opens with a uh, with a slow creak. Meow. That sounds like a cat. That's weird. Meow. Cat door. Okay. It's a very it's cat, cat door. door. How is the light situation uh, down here, by the way? The light situation is non-existent. Oh, okay. Cross uses light on her horn. I have dark vision. Media, 
Hold. Hold it right there. Got it. Holding. Mm-hmm. And roll reflex. Oh, great. Aha, uh-huh, uh, I didn't bumble is... into the traps this time. What is my reflex? What is my reflex? It is a one. No, I'm not rolling a plus Ooh. one. That is not how that works. Five. <laughs> as Media steps into the small hallway, she hears a creak. And then she now could could you quit it with all those auras? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just doing the I'm just doing the whole light thing. Fair I'm enough. Trying. Yeah. Um there's... Anyway, Media oh, hears a creak. Yep. And then she hears a crackling on uh, in the ceiling above her. And then she's immediately swarm uh, well not swarm, she's immediately buried in rocks. Wow. Uh, can I point out something really quick? Mm-hmm. If there's no light here, you can use the light mechanic in Roll Twenty to do that. Just give us the light radius. Yeah. I mean, didn't I already do that? No, we have more than thirty feet, I think. All right, then just As- a moment. Yeah, especially more so now that uh, permafrost has cast light. We can't see that. We can't see the like the options for the light, so I can't tell. But I think we have more than that. Uh, Actually, you have sixty. Well, I have dark vision, so for me that would actually work out, sort of. Yep. So I don't have to change um, anything for you. Okay. <laughs> Delightful. I do not remember. I believe ghost ponies have low light, vin- low light vision, but I'm gonna double check. We don't even have low light down here, though. I know. Yeah, that's, but I, well, no, I, you do now since I cast light. Fair yep. point. Fair point. I'm. What I'm saying is, I'm double checking to make sure they don't have dark vision. So anyway, what what happened to media again? Did you die? Well, she got buried uh, in rocks. Oh, that's a shame. Like it's large rocks. Yeah. Although, I do have to roll to see if they actually hit you. I hope so. Oh. Okay. Well, at least I might not die. Does a 20 hit you? Um, a 20 is barely my AC. The flat-footed. Oh, flat-footed? Uh, no, flat-footed, my AC is still 20, but that still hits. So, yeah. yep. just barely. Alrighty, let's see how much you take. Um, does Hazy Thoughts take any damage? Because he's, like, right next to her. Nope. Okay. <laughs> it's just single square. Great. Or it's just directly take in front eight of damage. You. Oh, Okay. That's some big rocks. Yep. I'm glad I didn't step into that. <laughs> Even the commotion of above, Cabin Copy looks over and <laughs> gives a very lazy look at the, uh, at the entire thing and goes, Careful, the ceiling might cave in. Thanks. Yeah, I found that out already. We'll remember that one. Ow. <laughs> well, unbury yourself. Well... That's her over at the door. Would you mind opening it for us? Okay, Wave is going to help her move rocks. Aw. Luckily, the rocks are easily uh, easily removed. <clears throat> they don't obscure uh, too I'm much. I'm going to laugh just... at you and call you dumb. Okay. Is there, another, is there another door here? Yes, there is. Yep. It's right here. I'm, it's... I'm making a perception check for traps. I got a 15. You see no traps on the door. Okay, I push it open. Uh, can we make someone else look first? Just in get case. It. Yeah. Charcoal, get your fat ass in there. I'll I'll gonna roll for fish. Never mind. Hey, right, let me let me move everyone aside. You got it. And well. Ugh. Now Carbon Copy is going to uh, going to check that out as well. Carbon Copy doesn't see anything either. God damn it. Permafrost he scrutinizes, to the rescue again. Oh, perfectly he scrutinizes safe. the door and goes, hmm, 50. this door seems... <laughs> this door what? seems exactly safe. <laughs> what? Why would you roll a... <laughs> Let's roll an S20. <laughs> <laughs> no one sees any problems with the door. <laughs> perfectly fine. Let's open it. While I stay... All right. W- away Media from it. opens like, the door. You tap... Uh, you tap the door with uh, with your hoof, and it swings open with another creak. Yeah. The hell is? Oh, that's a broken vase. Another mm-hmm. cat door. Another cat door. 
All right. Uh, Media is going to take a couple steps inside, followed by Hazy Thoughts oh, behind her. West Splitter is checking the room before entering. I saw that! I saw that! So what? I... Well, if no one else saw it, I'm not going to tell. <laughs> Taking a couple more steps inside, <laughs> followed by Hazy Thoughts right behind. So, D20 plus 9 for fish is 14. You see nothing wrong with this room. It is simply an old, misu- uh, disused uh, wine cellar. There are actually quite a few bottles of still drinkable wine over in the corner. Um... <laughs> Good. The, the procession of, peop- of ponies behind Fish is going to push Fish in. <laughs> Most well, okay, I guess Charcoal kind of stepped in the way first, but whatever. Um, yeah. Let's see. Uh, no, I Hazy Thoughts has a little light vision. So. Fish is going to snack a couple of the bottles, which means someone move him over there, I guess. I'm going <laughs> to show him a screenshot. Yes. There, um... there you go the whole room. Uh, Media's going to open this chest over here. The chest opens with uh, with a very slow creak. It's full with things that once were uh, that once were accessories and spices for wine but now have congealed into a clump of nothing but rot and dust. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to use I'm going to use my dagger and just knock on those barrels, see if anything is in there. The barrels uh, resound with uh, with massive thuds. For the full. You can you can tell that they are quite empty. Okay. Uh, well, I have a moment. Outside. May as well start looking Hold at this outside. door. It Let's... appears to be a door. Uh, anything 18 either... for permafrost. Nothing seems to be particularly wrong with this door, except for... Um, a hole at the edge of it. Um, a hole at the edge of it. Anything in the chest besides the congeal I'm going spices. to try and look through the hole. You see not very much inside. Uh, inside. Fish wants to know if it appears. Anything... Sorry, you first. It appears to be nothing but another room, really. Fish wants to know if there's anything special with the bottles. They seem to be unmarked. I would not drink out of those bottles. Um, they are, are they still stoppered? The bottles? Stoppered? Like, do they do they still have corks inside them if they're yes. wine bottles? Yes, they do. All right, Hazy Thoughts is going to start putting some inside the bag of holding. Uh, I think I'm going to take about. How heavy uh, are they? B- before you do that, Zephy. Yeah. You're a resident alcohol expert, right? How about you uncork yeah. one, take a sniff, see if they corked or not. That is true. I could. Uh, I'm going to uncork one of the wine bottles and take a sniff then. Before you waste mm-hmm. your time. Because that might just be vinegar, right? By now. <laughs> in um, that case, also in that case, I'm going to take a bottle if it's vinegar. I'd be using I'd be using a praise, would I not? Either that or you can roll your, prof- uh, your profession. Uh, well, my profession is just a plus four while my praise is plus seven. In that case, you can go for a praise. Resident wine tasting. Yep. And Fisher stores them. I don't think he would uh, care if it's vinegar or not. <laughs> I'm rolling really low today. The musty scent of the cellar around you confuses uh, confuses your senses. You can't tell whether they're corked or not. Well, Let the charcoal is going to take a drink. No, I want to try. I want to try first. Actually, I want to try at the same Wait. time. Okay, <laughs> if we're uncorking them, we should know whether they're corked or not. Yep. Well, whether the corks you are tell. actually working or not. I don't know either. Oh. Nope. Uh, like, like whether the wine's still good. We don't know. Well, Chaco uh, did say that he wanted to take a drink, right? Yeah, well, uh, just a small sip. Yes, Medio will pass. Medio will pass him the bottle. You take a small sip, and it tastes like extraordinarily good wine. I'll say I'll just start drinking it. Um, I'll say. Uh, Hmm. This is the best vinegar I've ever tasted. Pluck, 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 pluck. <laughs> um, yeah. how heavy are how heavy are the bottles, chicken? Like as far as weight goes. Oh, they're the same. Uh, they're the bottle. Uh, bleh, they're the weight as any regular uh, thing of alcohol. 
Two pounds. I'll just so, grab a handful of them. So what? Like a couple pounds, I think. Uh, let me just check. It should be. I actually don't know. I think it's one pound per bottle. I think so too. <clears throat> At least that's what I. I'd have to look it up. Yeah, okay. I'm looking uh, it up right now. Uh, Hazy Thoughts is just going to start putting bottles inside the bag of holding. God damn it. I'm going to take this and this and this, and I'm going to drink this. I'm going to take this. I can take it. If they're a pound, I can take at least 95 bottles. Oh. Okay, okay, wait, wait. Common wine? Uh, Charcoal is going to uh, finish the bottle that he opened. Or that he was passed. Yeah. Okay, uh, common wine you can get in six pound things, like little barrels. Fine wine. Yeah. One pound. We're, we're talking about we're talking about bottles, so that'd be one pound. Basically, yeah, because it's fine wine. Because common wine. Right. So. Get a bottle. How many bottles do we have here? Check you out. have quite a few bottles, but some of them are cracked and some of them, uh, some of them are corked as well. Yeah. So I'm only taking I'm only taking the corked the corked ones that aren't cracked. How about? And I'm putting them in the bag of holding. How Are you sure you're not going for the uh, for the wine that isn't vinegar? The corked ones are the ones uh, which don't taste good. Yeah. <clears throat> We're not spoiled. Talk... Yep. The corked ones. You no, know I'm just spoiled? gonna take a seat yeah. while I wait for everyone to finish getting crunk. Corked yeah. When, oh, wanna... okay. Corked Sorry. means spoil in wine yeah. talk. Corked okay, wine means it's gone. It's gone bad. I got confused by uh, by what you meant, and I thought you were talking about some that didn't have corks in them already. Well, I know what you meant. No, that's not okay. the same thing. So <laughs> once it haven't been opened, I once it haven't been opened and haven't been touched, I'm putting those in the bag of holding. Mm-hmm. So you walk away. Uh, you walk away from there with roughly ten uh, bottles of very fine wine. Not bad. Not bad. Respectable. So, Char Charcoal's just going to finish the one that he opened. Fine wine. Charcoal ends up with a, uh, with a very pleasant buzz from the wine. Uh, yep. Let's see. The BOH. And we said they were about a pound each, right? Cool. So I'm not. I'm still nowhere near the uh, the limit for the. Bench has apparently been saying things in the chat. I just explained what. What has been saying? He, he wanted to know what how that makes sense. I ah. explained to him what corks. What? Anyway, ah. it basically corked also means in a broad sense wine that has gone bad. It doesn't have to do anything. It doesn't have to be the cork. It exactly. Yeah. Basically, you look at it. Yeah, that's wine shit. Yeah, Fish mm -hmm. was asking the same thing that I was asking. Yep. Okay. Anyway, um, next door. Yeah, I already looked at it. It doesn't seem to be trapped. There's also a hole. There, it just all I could see from the hole was a room. Uh, let me <laughs> look into it because I have dog vision. Yep. So I'm gonna look through it. Let me and perception, I guess. Mind you, I would see everything in black and white. Yep. Let's see, perception. Yeeks. 22. <laughs> Just a moment. <laughs> of course I rolled best with my lowest stat. Uh, you another see, 12. You see nothing but a darkened room on the other side. Uh, I thought what, we were what, perceptioning what, the door. But Never what's mind. in it? You see... Something which appears to be the legs of a table. Hmm. Maybe it's just going to push the door open. Yeah. If I see nothing moving, that's okay. It's not like I totally saw a, a rat scurry away earlier. Not at all. Not at all. No, that never happened. I don't have it on video or anything. Nope. <laughs> uh... Yeah, I'm gonna wait until the, all the brutes go in. <laughs> Stop! Oh dear. Bad. Oh god! 
just a moment. We don't have a moment. We need to go Super. now. <laughs> Basements, okay. traps, excitement. Rats. All right. The moment you step over to the table, you hear something from the inside. The inside from, uh, of the From table. underneath oh, the table, sorry. Oh. From underneath the table. <laughs> Luckily, having uh, having heard it before uh, before it could uh, it could do anything, you look down just in time to see a, uh, a big, black, ugly snout uh, biting out at you uh, at you, media. You so, managed uh, you managed to avoid it. Oh, it would have been better since you heard ah. it before, since you heard it so quickly. You are just in time to get your face bitten off because you bow down to it. <laughs> Roll initiative. All right. Yay! Can we get the initiative thing up? Yes. Uh, so uh, I go last. <laughs> Are you sure about that? I go last, actually. I go second to last. Are you sure about that? I go third to last. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. I'm gonna. Oh, no, wait, Usko's okay. initiative is. is uh, media got a 20. twenty. Fish got a fourteen. Let's see what Hazy thoughts gets. Yeah. Uh, Hazy got a nine. He, he's has anyone rolled uh, yet? And no, because I don't know what what he has. It's a okay. You got a fifteen. All right. It was a, it's a straight D twenty. That's vicious, though. Doesn't Connor have more? I was decks? talking about Connors. Yeah, doesn't Connor have more decks than that? No, he does not. Okay. Chicken, you're the so one with the sure. sheet. We don't know. Yes, just a moment. I know it's because he keeps traveling on a bit. <laughs> That's a good point. I also have to roll for carbon copy. So just a moment. Figuring shit out. I need to take improved initiative. Yeah, you um, do. Then I have a plus 10. I, has someone sent uh, Fish a screenshot? Otherwise I can do it. Do it. Yeah, you know what you do it. We can take turns this time. God damn it! I'm using that uh, experimental uh, oh, sheet for carbon. And so okay, there's an. an I'm signature. using the same. I have been using the same sheet forever now. The nice. There we ones. go. He got a twelve. And Usko's initiative yields zero. It's a straight D twenty. I already rolled it. It's fifteen. Alrighty. <laughs> yeah. There we go. And, and now that's just the you. one thing I really know about his sheet, yeah. because it's the one thing he keeps talking about. We uh, just I need for... fish. Fish got a 14. I rolled for that. There we go. So he will actually go third. Hold on. He will go third. Alrighty. Media. Since you uh, since uh... you were the one the rat bit at, it stands to reason that you were the first to go. <laughs> Yay! Because you, because give, me, give me just a second. I'm still trying to get a <laughs> screenshot. So. How how big is that rat? I assume it's not medium sized. It is it's... not medium sized. <laughs> Damn it! I hoped it was. It's like the size of my penguin. The moment we meet medium sized rats, I'm legging it out of there. I'm just gone. Uh... Let me just uh, actually let me just check this out. Exactly how big it is. Nope, it's uh, don't worry, it's small. It's a diorad, right? I'm not saying anything. Well, you're gonna have to. Uh, you're gonna have to roll it's for using that. The exact same token that uh, chicken used for Moriarty, except painted black. <laughs> it even nope, has a collar on no, it. The, I that, it is actually be. just the exact same token. Yeah, it even has the collar. <laughs> it even has the collar. It's a diorad. He reproduced. <laughs> okay. Okay. Here's the thing. It's ah. a diorad, but I'm still gonna roll knowledge nature. Twenty. I know it's a diorad. You know it's a diorad. Okay. Okay. Uh, either way, I am drawing my longsword, and uh, I'm gonna that, stop but, it. Wait, I, I will get. I get a couple of questions about that. Yep. So first, what's this alignment? <laughs> <laughs> it's lawful good. Okay, let's kill it. <laughs> what is, I also ask about its uh, special qualities. Or what its, uh, is his? Qualities. What is its quest? To find the Holy Grail. What is oh, its shit. favorite color? Blue. No, wait! Okay, we defeated it! XP. <laughs> anyway. Anyways. 
I'm pulling out. I mean, ah, whatever. We'll just go with the ball and chain. Ball and chain's the best ball thing for this, chain anyways. Is. Where did, when did you get a wife? <laughs> <laughs> just kill the thing. Uh, let's see. So that's plus five. Oh my goodness. Uh, 22. Yep. Yeah, you hit it. Okay. Uh, uh, 11. <laughs> you hit it and immediately decapitated. Oh. With a ball and chain? Oh. Yep. Basically, God. you smash its head in. That's, that's even worse. God. Well, that was a good fight. Yeah, you good fight. Good fight. <laughs> Do you want to see da, exactly da, how dead it is? Da, da, da. Yeah. But it's a diuret, so. Here's the thing. No, There'll I want to be... see. I want to see how badly I heard it. Me too. This yeah, is how bad you heard it. Yeah! There will be more. It's a fucking diuret. They come in packs. <laughs> yep. Ah. Uh, so yeah, are we done with initiative, or are there still more uses for it? Just a moment. This is the part where they all come out of the woodworks, isn't it? <laughs> How did you know? We said they will come out of the walls. <laughs> because if you if it, if they they didn't, then you would have gotten rid of the turn order. Just yes, that I simple. Have, I have been curses foiled again. Aluminum this time! Well, they're, they're diorets. Who expects only a single diorette? Although that would be that would make a nice mindfuck in a trap temple. Well, well, he was wearing Good. a collar. He was wearing a collar, so he could have been someone's pet. <laughs> you just murdered him, now. <laughs> he tried to bite once, me. Once yeah. again, some, uh, something. Uh, once again, another snout tries to bite you as you smash you in the head of, uh, of the disgusting black rodent. Another My disgusting wife. black ro uh, rodent uh, arrives. I'm, I'm sure they're not that gross. And I'm pretty sure 7 does, uh, doesn't hit your AC at all. No. My AC is 20. Yep. Well, it bit at you, and now it's Usko's turn. You have a feet. What does Usko do, Carolyn? He's, uh, he points at it and screams, RAD! And jumps, uh, jumps <laughs> five <feet> back. <laughs> okay. To, like, here, or, like... Here. Okay. Wave splitter. Wave splitter. Okay, fish, your turn. But scratcher. But scratcher. Animal empathy. Animal empathy. Animal empathy. So yes. animal em animal enema. Yeah, so that's, that's uh, like a diplomacy check or something. Basically. I suppose I'm I'm looking it up right now because I want to be certain. Hmm. Fish, what is what is animal empathers? Animal empathy makes a uh, makes I think an it enemy incre it inc more friendly towards you. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. Well, I meant the stuff that required to do the animal empathers. You have to uh, roll a handle animal check to influence the attitude of the animal. Take yes. a minus two penalty to a check, and you cannot use this ability to attempt uh, to influence a magical beast. Okay, fish. Give us numbers. Maybe it's a magical diorad. I'm pretty By sure there's nothing magical, magical about a diorad. You mean he does jazz hands? Okay, plus seven. D20 plus seven. <laughs> jazz hands. 23, although I don't know what... He said it was like a minus two or something? Or so. Either so way. Minus two penalty to your check. Over tw It's over 20. Yeah, you do manage to make the rat stop trying to bite media. It looks over at Wave Splitter, then looks over at media and charcoal and, hiss at, uh, and hisses at them. <laughs> okay. Carbon copy sits by. Here's my carbon copy emerges behind the rat from the shadows and just garrots it. <laughs> All right, hazy thoughts. A tiny dagger and a tiny liver. There you go. Uh... <laughs> I mean, we, did I did I see Wave Splitter do the animal empathy thing? Did That's I see him question. chitter at the right? Probably not. 
I mean, I'm right there. He, I'm I'm within line of sight of him. I like, think he's saying true. people leave the rats to me. No, hey. he, no, he said he people said, leave the rats alone. People leave leave the rats alone, bro. Be nice. He's not he's we're in their house. We're in their home, thoughts man. is gonna go in this direction. And just stay over here for now, on the other Alrighty. side of charcoal. I mean, uh, let's see. I kind of want to catch it and cook it later. Jesus, fuck that's you, not even taste that good. Why, why am I, I horrid? Hey, see, I don't suppose uh, eleven hits you anything, does it? Uh, no, his AC is nineteen. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, mm, his AC is actually fifteen. Sorry, In I don't have case... I don't have the shield spell. You feel something uh, trying to nip at you, but immediately going through uh, going through your incorporeal self. Well, he's not incorporeal. He's still corporeal. Let me fluff. Uh, being... Okay, that's fine. He, he tries to bite at my hair. Yep. Nothing happens, and the rat stands there dumbfounded. So is it my turn now? Yeah. It is your turn now. Again, I kind of want to catch them and cook them later. Because it's Jesus still, fuck. It's fresh meat, okay? It's street meat, fair enough, but it's still meat. They have a toxic bite. Yes, so we I just cooked the fuck out of them. I'll disinfect them and all that, so you know, still meat. I think you're gonna have to I think you're gonna have to talk to Wastelid about that. They're not his reds, they're wild animals. Anyway, I'm gonna go in there, look around. Uh I'm just going to shoot at the left one there. Do it. You mean the one that tried to bite? Actually, no. <laughs> Well, yeah. You mean this one? The one to the north? No, to the, the left, left one. he said. To the left, to the left. So this one. Be nice. We're in their home and we're their guests right now. No. Also, Fish says to let them live. Also, do you have the side shots? <laughs> Do you have what? precise I'm shots? Sorry? No, I don't. So, let's see. Uh, range weapon. I'm going to use my crossbow. Not going to hit anything, <laughs> I bet, but let's see. This is going to be fun. 20, I actually hit. You do actually hit. <laughs> oh, wow. Just... Wow. Is that what the minus four for shoot melee? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> you mean you mean range? Because... Well, it's you know, range. I'm shooting into melee. <laughs> yep. The arrow flies, th what the bolt flies through the uh, through the air, perforates uh, through Hazy Thought's mane and hits the rat square between the eyes. Okay, it so, falls no, over uh, with a uh, with a pain squeak and twitches okay, in, slightly okay, in, as in, blood in, pulls out onto the floor. Yeah, in terms of fluff, I just I step into the room, I basically just look at the rat, plink, and then say, "Put that in the back for me, will ya?" <laughs> just not even caring about anything. Jackal, will you put the rat in a bag? <laughs> or will you get the hose again? I will put the rat in the in the goddamn bag. Thank you. Well, that incurs uh, an attack of opportunity from the one, uh, one rat still alive. Go Actually, ahead. That one is... Try me. That one should be friendly now. That is true, though. Well, it's friend... It's, well, um, neutral. It's, uh, it's, uh, at least neutral. one step lower, so it's unfriendly. It is unfriendly. Oh, it is okay. unfriendly to uh, to wave splitter. Everyone else it hates. Fair enough. Try me. <laughs> I don't suppose eighteen hits you. Monster. Eight, He's wait, calling 18? you a monster. Eighteen. Eighteen. Uh, 18 ties. So yeah, that hits. Yay! You would be flat-footed too, mind you. Yep. Oh shit! Yeah, then it does hit. Well, actually, it is his turn, so. Uh. Wouldn't be. Uh, good point, yeah. But if it still hits, then it still hits. Yep. Alrighty, let's see. What was the ba uh, the damage for that bite? The damage for that bite. Also, the hole in Hazy Thoughts Man that you shot that you shot through, it just closes back up. Like a slow rolling, like a slow rolling fog, like a foggy window. Just you take four damage, and. The disease. Make a, a exactly. Uh, make a 
uh, fort save. Hey, man. I'm hey. fine. <laughs> I'm you definitely, much. you definitely do not feel anything infecting your blood. Ouch! I don't even that think you noticed hurt. the bite. God. I probably don't. I just realized something. You just what? Mm -hmm. Diorets grow up to two feet long and weigh up to twenty-five pounds. They're not as small as I thought they were. Nope. Huh. They might not be medium, but they are. But they are still pretty big. Well, c considering as ponies we're like three feet tall. <laughs> yep. Well, wow, three to four damn. feet. Things are debatable. massive to you. Anyway. What do you do? Do you just uh, chuckle? Do you just grab the other rat, or do you actually do something else? I don't know. I'll punch it. Alrighty, go ahead and punch it. And I'm not raging just yet. <laughs> so you're doing a docile punch. Yes, I, I'm very calmly punching the dude oh, in God. the face. Jesus fuck yeah, that is definitely Burp. the calmest punch I've ever seen. Yeah, you hit. You managed to land your uh, your uh, your gigantic hoof square on top of the rat. You're basically squishing it. So how much damage do you do? I step on it. Yep, that's exactly what you do. Only seven damage. You hear though. a nasty, wet, crackling sound, and there is no more rat when you lift your hoof. There's only a what uh, what appears to be a giant blob of red jam. <laughs> Meanwhile, Wave Splitter is just standing there, single tear rolling down his face. <laughs> poor Rado. Yes. Poor, is that a tear, rat. or is that just, or is that just where he's still wet from his previous swim? It's probably. <laughs> it's tears. Let's face it. It's tears. <laughs> put that. Uh, put all those reds in a bag. By the way, just you know. Hazy thoughts is gonna move around. Oh, hold on, hold on. Are we still in combat? Yeah. No, you are not. Okay. 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 We. I'm. I'll put all the dead rats in a big bag. Actually, I'm gonna need more than. No, wait. I can. I can squish them. That's good. Yep. Well, okay, no, one of them is already pretty much jammed. That is true. I'm probably not gonna pick up the jammed one because there's not much there. I'm gonna. I'm gonna pick uh, up the. I'm gonna pick up the other two rats and put them. Pull. Put them in an empty bag. Well, one I get the feeling that Wave Flitter is just going to be staring at you with just the, with all of the judgment. One, one with a squished them... head, the other one with an arrow between its eyes. Oh yeah. Don't worry. Well, really, gonna... the only one that I think is probably usable to you is the one with over. the arrow. I'm gonna. No, no, I can, I can use the one with the smashed in head too. I mean, yeah, it's not like I will. Don't... I will not cook the head. No, you never really eat the head unless you're a zombie. Well, that's not good. You, you shouldn't eat the brain of someone. It's it's you know it's not healthy. Which one should you eat all of those? Brains are full of uh, of uh, protein and energy. Okay, as an alchemist and a cook, don't worry. I will use every part of their body. <laughs> uh, like, yes, we're waiting seriously. for charcoal to move further into the room so the rest of us can get it. <laughs> oh, sorry. I apologize that my fat ass was in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Dead diuret times two. <laughs> Put that in my inventory. There we go. Okay. Yep. All right. Let's see here. I'm gonna make the Maybe best gonna goulash. Take another... Gonna make the best Maybe goulash. gonna out take of another dust. crack at the door. Alrighty. Uh, I got see... an eleven. You see nothing wrong with the door. Okay, I push it open. The door opens into a hallway. Burp. 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 Halt. Halting. Roll reflex. Gosh darn it, another rock fall. <laughs> well, why do you keep running into drafts? <laughs> that's, that's an excellent Mitchell's, question, isn't Mitchell's it? That's Mitchell's job. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nope. Get hit by the rocks again. Yet again, you do not manage to uh, to move out of the way in time to see the uh, the ceiling caving in as you open the door. Let's see. Not again. Plus twelve. I'm pretty sure that 
as she does that hit hazy thought. Uh, what is... I'm looking at flat-footed, right? Uh, his flat-footed is 16. So it does hit him. It's a 17, I I, I forgot I made that a GM roll. Okay, so that actually doesn't hit media, but... Well, media isn't in the splash zone anyway. Oh, okay. Got it. Alrighty, rolling 3d6. <sighs> Take 14 damage. Ooh, well, rip. I'm at zero from that one hit. What <laughs> for the blood god? Oh my god. Maybe you don't even have to make up an excuse as to why you can't leave Alcove. I'll go... I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Okay, I'm gonna stand in the... <laughs> uh, Fish wants to heal, but before he does that, I'm gonna stand in the doorway, see the ghost pony get beaten unconscious by a rockfall and just shake my head. <laughs> I was just. I can't even comment on that, it's just too sad. It's just <laughs> pathetic. Meanwhile, Carbon, co uh, Carbon Copy looks at it as, uh, as he rides in on Permafrost, going, hmm, perhaps I should be in the front lines. Perhaps. He leans back in her, uh, in her mane and just lies there with his hooves behind his head. <laughs> perhaps we should all take him. We should uh, take him over before running into doors. Wait, wait, wait. I know exactly how she looks. Moment. She? No, he, the ghost pony. Wait, wait. <laughs> they. They really. The near dead but... one. Them. Them. <laughs> Perfect. What is this? <laughs> oh, is he healing? Is he healing hazy thoughts? <laughs> I'm um... not me, no. Fuck you. I'm not. Okay, Fish so is. yeah, he's, uh, tr I guess he's using the heal skill. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. Uh... 21. Uh, oh, God. Wow. Yep. Okay. Oh, it actually does back. something. Oh, she she's does back. Heal. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> How much does that heal? Let's see. That's a good question. Let's see. Heal. I think it's mostly just meant to stabilize. Well, yep. she is stable, though. She was at zero. Yep. She could actually yeah, still she's move. Te she's technically just disabled. Yeah, she could still move and all that. Or uh, staggered or whatever it is. I mean, if you guys can get her just up to, if you guys can get them up just to one HP, I can do the rest because I've got. You can items. rest now. You're not, you're not unconscious. You're staggered. Oh, you can move. Yep. Just cast the damn spell right now. Yeah, just. <laughs> oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna cast cure light wounds on myself. Um. Healing. And fish is giving you drugs. No, I don't need drugs. <laughs> I don't need your damn dirty drugs. Ah, what is cure light wounds? D8 plus your thing. You cast a level. Wisdom modifier? No, you cast, cast a level. level. To a maximum of plus five. Eh, five. I'm gonna cast it again. Meanwhile, Permafrost is very uh, carefully, carefully looking ahead. Okay, I, I'm back up to to general HP. He also brought Uska with her with her just in case because Carbon Copy Two is looking ahead. Charcoal laughed at you assholes. <laughs> Okay. At the pillar. Time for perceptions. Oh, okay, yep. so heal. Permafrost got shit. <laughs> Char Carbon Cubby glances into the room and goes, Well, as far as I can see, everything is pretty okay. As far as I can see. With okay. my special eyes. He turns around and he's got glowing eyes. Here's where Media steps forward and gets immediately killed by a falling rock. <laughs> oh, media is fine. She has more HP than that. Yeah, but... heal doesn't give you exp uh, HP back, by the way. Only with long-term care. Mm -hmm. And that only counts with complete rests and shit. Yeah, you have to get like a day of rest. So yeah, stuff. apparently yeah. charcoal and everyone else is just rushing into the office. Yep. Nope. I'm just I'm standing back. 
I'm waiting for one of you guys to get hit by falling rock pile this time. Okay, uh, so apparently Charcoal Gray just jumps ahead of us and is now sitting in front of the doorway for no reason. All right, all right. Let me make sure the room is safe. Yes. I'll just take a look around. <laughs> Holy shit! Never mind. I'm not gonna bother. Well, Carbon points over to the little pi uh, little pile of rubble over here and goes, gather over there. The uh, the uh, the roof might cave in again. Okay. Where exactly can you mark it? Yep, I can. Okay, media, step into that square. Right there. Uh, one moment, guys. Right Let's there. See. Let's see. Oh. Well, I'm gonna take a look here at the the desk. Well, I assume that's a, actually, yeah, it's a desk. It is a desk. Our boss is gonna go over here. Who's is gonna go over here? <laughs> Anything that. Why is Flitter is going to go in the middle? Okay, anything that leaps out of the desk to attack me? Nope. Okay, then I'm just going to use perception to see what, if I can find anything. Uh, mm -hmm. Media is going to go over to this chest, uh, look for traps. Well, 17. <sighs> Media looks for traps on, uh, on the chest and finds none. I haven't even rolled. Okay, I'm back. Oh. Yeah, that was Uda's roll. I thought, uh, right. Um... No, I got, media no got a I got a 14. Again, media doesn't see anything. For uh, for the 17, Uda finds uh, a drawer in that uh, in in that desk, which has a bunch of papers in it and a pristine golden key on top of those papers. Okay. The key I'm has gonna... a, uh, the key totally has important. a small forget me not. <laughs> totally. Carved into, yeah. uh, carved into the handle. <laughs> yeah, just totally not important. Ooh, empty paper. <laughs> All right. Ish <laughs> wants oh, to anyway. check the chest again for spe for second opinions. Yeah, media, you're gonna have so to go I'm back to that up. chest anyway, because as you oh. open, uh, as you open that uh, that chest, something no, does jump out at you. I hadn't opened it yet. Fair enough. I was gonna go back. I was gonna stand back and let yeah. Hazy Thoughts open it with Mage Hand. Also, Fish oh, has right. a Fish has a twenty nine tool. Expect the, the chest. Yes. Well, also, could, yeah, give, give us a moment because I also wanted to look at this bookshelf. Yeah, and I, Usko probably should have looked at that bookshelf. I wanted to tell what Fish. I do with the key. Am I gonna be able to talk now? Go on ahead. Thank you. Yes, talk. Fish sees a small hole in the bottom, uh, in the very corner of the chest. It's oh. roughly diorite sized. So that's not a small hole, then. <laughs> well, it is actually a small hole, because they're small-sized. Yes, but... Like it's a small-sized hole. Like it's a small-sized hole. They're like, dogs, they're like big dogs. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's eaten It's eaten away, like, almost the entire side Hold of the Hold on chest. a second, Fish. It's, time, it's the, time for the rest of us to do things. Yeah. Perfoss yep. is going to look at this bookshelf. Permafrost finds a couple of ratty books in that bookshelf, by which I mean they are both uh, they are both very raggedy and also eaten by rats. Okay. Some of them do uh, do have um, uh, some of them do have some papers left inside of them which are eligible for reading. Uh, pick, I was gonna say, pick them up. We can look at them later. Yeah, let's just take them with us. Yeah, that's what I was. Thinking. I was gonna say, do they have rats inside them? But <laughs> how big do you think the book is? Two, two feet, two feet long. It's like and a, two, like feet a wide. two feet, two feet book. Yeah, just take it with us. <laughs> we can, we can our enemies to death with it. Yep. Anyway, it's a grimoire um, size book. Okay, back to, back to the desk real quick. I'm gonna pocket mm -hmm. the key, mm -hmm. just without even really noticing it, because look, it's it's small and shiny. I just pick it up. Yoinks. And then the Usko probably should be is checking there, that book. Yeah. Yeah. Is there anything on those papers? Anything written? There are things written on those papers. Can I? They see... Actually, never mind. I have dark vision, so I can't yep. really see it. Not to mention there are uh, there are some there are some very old candles on uh, on the desk. They seem to be not eaten enough by rats. That they can still be lit. Uh, I'm gonna light one of the candles so I can look at the paper a bit more closely. Mm -hmm. The candle yeah. sputters uh, sputters alive uh, with a warm. 
golden glow illuminating uh, what little it can of the desk, yeah. as well as uh, as well as the papers you're holding. Yeah, I just want to really. I just want to see if I can make out the language and if I can read the broad thing. It's written in common, so I'd be surprised yes. if you couldn't make out the Perhaps language. we should just take it with what us. If I, know, just... What if I never learned to read? <laughs> well, well then, re with uh, you. then trying to read would be kind of a moot uh, kind of thing to do, wouldn't it? Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna glance over the papers. What is the the general gist of it? It seems to be some kind of list. Like. What? And naming uh, naming different things and strangely enough traits for these things. Okay, okay. Um, as an alchemist, does it look like something job related, or does, is it a shopping shopping list? It is not a shopping list because you you have a feeling it would be pretty difficult to buy sun, tide, and stars. Huh. Well, I'm not sure oh, about just that. Just take it with you. We can read it outside. I'm back, bitches. Yeah, I'm gonna. Hello. I'm oh, rolling. Shit. I'm rolling the paper up and put them in a bag. Just a moment. I I'm gonna have to be that. right back for a moment. I need to get this jump off of me because I'm cooking alive. Yeah. Okay. Connor. What? What did you do? Why we, is everyone dead? We killed three rats. Dire rats. Damn. I, I stepped on one. He stepped on and, one. And and uh yeah we all and uh. Zaf's ghost pony almost died without us doing anything. Yep, he God. stepped into a trap. Damn. Media also stepped into a trap. Yeah, for once, I'm not the one bumbling into traps. <laughs> also, uh, yeah. And now you're standing in front of an old dusty bookshelf, probably found, looking at stuff. Yeah, we found a small golden key and some papers with weird stuff written on it. And some ratty old books that I'm taking with me, because... Yeah. Also, I took... Well. I. I, I took two of the dead rats for dinner later. And I'm back. Gonna make goulash. Okay. So, yeah, let Usko do his uh, looking at the bookshelf thing, and then we can get back to the chest. What, mm -hmm. look, who, where? Uh, bookshelf? Yes, yep. you're in front of a bookshelf. We parked you in front of a bookshelf. Yep. Uh, why, do I, why do I need to look at a bookshelf? I don't know, because that's, that's the entire reason we're here. Yep. If you don't, uh, God, I don't. I, it's two weeks. I don't remember what we were doing. <laughs> Me neither. You're in this basement to look up um, to look up what you can find about the spirits. Oh, also, All right. speaking of spirits, spirits we found a, just Speaking of spirits, we found a lot of wine. <laughs> if it's still oh, yeah, readable, yeah, just take it, wine. put it in your bag. We can read it on on the go. Uh, I will begin searching for books on relevant topics. You uh, you actually find? Let's see. You find four books on exactly what you're looking for. They seem to awesome. be some uh, someone's memoirs about the uh, their encounters with uh, with these spirits. Uh, ocean spirits for ocean, sp ocean spirits for dummies. I will I will uh, store these books in my saddlebag yep. and save them for when I have better lighting for reading and a more yep. comfortable, much yep. more comfy chair. I'm just gonna write down what I gave you because I need to remember this. Yeah, and I got the scrolls and the little key. Also, there is a chest in that room, Connor, with a diorite-sized hole on the side. Yep. A what size hole? Diorite. Dire rat. That is that is what me that is what me and Fish are dealing with currently. Fish okay. and I. Shut up with your grammar. <laughs> uh, shut up with our proper English. Why is the German? Why is the German guy correcting the native English speaker? <laughs> I'm not correct. No, I was connect. I was correcting Zephy. That's what oh, he meant. It's because Zephy's an idiot. <sighs> Zephy ruins every fucking job. God damn. Yeah. <laughs> the worst. Anyway, Fish is putting a ration before the hole, in front of it. I think. I guess. Yep. He yeah oh yeah fish tried to make friends with the diorite and we just killed him. <laughs> he put it in the hole. Well, I kind of just like stepped on it. <laughs> well yeah, I I shot it between the eyes. A uh, different one. You shot a different one between the eyes. Yeah well. <laughs> media, deca media decapitated one with a blunt weapon. God damn. Yep. God. As yeah. fish puts down the ration, I. 
relative, a relatively <coughs> tiny uh, black nose comes out and sniffs at it and hastily pulls it back into the chest. You hear nibbling. I mean, nibble, nibble, nibble. Decapitating something with a blunt weapon. I mean, sure, it's a square peg in a round hole, but when you have enough strength, everything's a square peg, uh, square hole. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, he bashed the head in. Fish wants to use animal empathy. Go ahead. Roll ben your handle animal, minus ben two. Can, ben can roll that. It's a plus yeah, five. Okay. Barely. Plus uh, five. Dire Three animals four. are not monsters. They are still considered animal uh, subtypes. Either yeah. way, he yeah. rolled high enough, so fuck it. Yep, but anyway, with um, I have I have read up on animal empathy. You get a minus two check to your handle animal check to do it. Uh, anyway. That's what it says? Yep. As, uh, as wave splitter uh, coos and uh, baby talks at, uh, at the chest, the rat slowly peeks out, uh, out of there and looks anxious, but not hostile. I really... is it is it unfriendly again? It would be. Yep. To anyone but, uh, well, to fish. To everyone else, it's just just plain off that. Full of hate. I I really want to whip out the crossbow and shoot it, but I think fish would take that personally at this point. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of gonna watch you guys be like, oh cool, he's a rat. <laughs> oh, catch that rat! We need one dinner. <laughs> oh, cool! It's a rat. Can I go home now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look, look yeah. it's a dire rat. Before but it's we still... ran into the rats, Scarrow just had you jump back and scream. It's still fresh meat, okay? Yep. I can make goulash out of it. It'll be great. Remind me not to ever to be. Uh, remind me to never ever eat anything that Uda serves. I'm a brilliant cook, and you know it. <laughs> but now I know where you get uh, where you get your wares from. <laughs> hey, you gotta I'm get gonna, food somewhere. I'm gonna use every part of the red. The less know about that, the better. I'm an alchemist. <laughs> Still don't trust you. I can probably There's make poison out of it. Of vegetarians. You know what? Look. I think I'm going to go back to eating rocks. That's something we sometimes had to do in the mines, eating rocks to survive. I have it on. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Knowledge nature. I have it on very good authority that diorets are actually plants. <laughs> Come on. I read that somewhere. It was in the same book that declared bananas a type of fish. So I believe that. Okay, you're gonna have to roll your bluff check for that. Yep. To bluff myself, sure. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, bluff. It's not a bluff if he truly believes it. That's That's diplomacy. Ten for bluff and oh, wait, wait. For us. Wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll sense motive on me, see if I can find my find out my own lie. <laughs> I believe my oh, own I... I believe my own lie. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm good. They're uh. plants. I can eat them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make. What the fuck? I'm gonna make vegetarian diet goulash later. You should know th with that uh, knowledge need to check that they aren't uh, that they aren't <laughs> plants. What the hell? I mean, you got a fucking twenty-three. I choose to remember He's it differently. A professional. I choose to remember it differently. <laughs> Alternative facts, you know. Yep. Alternative facts. It's fake <laughs> news. You have to understand. <laughs> Look, oh, these are the these the are the times that we live in. <laughs> yeah, facts. The age of facts is over. Diarrhea to no plants. Yeah, bananas are fish. Anyway. Bananas forever. Anyway, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing with that diarrhea fish? Are you just feeding him and then gonna let him go about his business, which is ah, killing yeah. the rest of us? No, he, he wants can, to. He, he wants, wants to, to coax it away from the chest yeah. and the rest. Just in the rest. Yes, you can. Although you might want to coax it outside of that um, debris. Coax it into the rocks. <laughs> That's actually a good idea. Just uh, throw a ration underneath the rock thing. <laughs> that won't do. Then the ration would trigger it. True. <laughs> it it might. He will. He, he takes it to a safe. 
corner of the room. Oh. And by 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 safe corner, he means towards Usko. <laughs> Actually, I think he means the door. I mean, yeah. Usko, Usko hasn't killed any rats yet. Right. I'm going so to screw. We, he did so just he did to just jump out. in fear from him. Not but I'm still so going to guess that he ushers it out of the room as opposed to <laughs> keeping it in there with all those homicidal maniacs who want to kill and cook it. Hit the chest. Okay. Uh, um, I, I've never seen that. I'll, I'll be friends with it on, so long as it doesn't try to nip me. Yeah, who wants to... Um, so, I'm opening the chest with Mage Hand. Okay. Yep. The chest, it does indeed open. It is, is not booby-trapped. It, it is, is full it? of... It is full of chewed up papers. Yeah. Anything readable in there? Not really. I mean, unless you read in rat droppings. I mean, there's probably a language in Pathfinder, but I don't have it. <laughs> uh, my, linguistic, my linguistics is a, is a four on trained. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it is a trained skill, though. Uh, <laughs> um, is there anything in there besides just the papers? There's nothing in there besides the papers and various rat leadings. Evidence of uh, rat. Did we find a key? Uda did. I didn't oh, tell okay. anyone so yet. So we do have the key. It's probably for that other door. I didn't tell anyone yet. To be honest, nope, I don't think he's I... he's an asshole. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Let me roll perception. Let's see if I actually noticed me picking up the key of it, which just reflex. God damn it. <sighs> I did. You I clapped noticed. it. You did. You it. clapped, though. It was, look, it was shiny and small, so I just you know, yoink. Oh, hey, papers. So is there any other door in this room? Nope, not in this room. Okay, it back to the be... beginning. Yeah, it might be the key for the other door. Before we leave, is there anything we haven't looked at yet? Nope, you've looked at everything. Okay. Um, I'm going to take a pebble. Me just going to take a pebble, toss it into where Carbon Copy uh, said the rock, fall, the rock pile. Or the cave-in was. Just Fish... to make the ceiling cave-in so we don't have to worry about it. Fish well, leaves the red ceiling friend... does indeed cave-in. Fish leaves the red friend to his home. Woo! Oh. I'm so tempted Tiny to shoot the... Friend. I'm tempted to kill the rat. In... <laughs> oh, well. well, you gotta you mean really his, find you the mean rat his now. Ho- you mean his home where none of his rat buddies are now? <laughs> no, don't hurt Tiny Rat Friend. Don't... <laughs> <laughs> All I'm, right. gonna, I'm gonna follow so... the others. Oh, right, the hole. Let's try this yep. again. Uh, let's see. Climbing slash... Oh, yeah, that's right. 20, Running jump. One. Uh, Media does fine. She climbs in and out the hole. Yep. Hazy thoughts. Gonna take a running Burma jump. Cross does okay. Yep. I'm gonna take a running Fuck jump me. just for the hell of it. I believe Fish had just a. Oh yeah, it's a also. Fish does okay. Uh, <laughs> Usko suddenly. Uh, oh, Usko shit. spontaneously sprouts wings and flies over the hole. Sake. Meanwhile, oh, shit. I fall. Jaco Gray falls on his face again. Um, Char- oh yeah. <laughs> Hazy thought. Hazy thoughts does a, I, a pirouette in the air. I <laughs> climb back up. I basically Thank just you. jump up. <laughs> yes. Let's see. It's a plus. I make it too. Boop. Alley, oop. <laughs> We're all waiting on Uda. Yep. <sighs> what are you... <laughs> you don't even know that I have a key. No, I just we don't. We, we, just assume, we just assume that you do. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I could probably pick the lock or some shit. To be fair, so could, uh, so could Carbon Copy. Yeah. What is to be his... fair, Carbon Copy could go in the lock. What... <laughs> yep. To be what fair, is... Carbon can, uh, can fly through the hole in the wall. What's this uh, disabled oh. device? Hi. I mean carbon. Oh, his. It's oh, high. right. His disabled dis- uh, device is. Uh, not that high actually. It's untrained too. Oh, mine's eight. Um, I think it has to be trained in order to use it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Could be. Yeah, high. chicken. In the future, you need to train him in disabled device if you want him to open doors. I know. I haven't I've... had him open doors. Yeah. Have him disable the entire door. Just knock it off its hinges. Okay, I'll go up to the door and try to fit the, the key I found into the a keyhole if there is one. 
The key clicks into the keyhole and turns extremely easily. I'm not going to turn it. Fair okay, enough, I... it does fit though. Good, I put it in, then I take several steps back and let someone else open the door in case it's trapped or something behind it. <laughs> All right, Media will take, Media will take point. I'm getting careful. <laughs> Media turns the key. The key and then turns. opens the door. And then opens the door. The door swings open. You're hit with a cold breeze. Yes. Fish wants a 20 for flavorful religion. Hmm? Huh? Delicious, delicious religion. Let me roll it. You got a, got a net 20. For religion? You know about gray ladies. He what? knows everything about the gray lady, apparently. What gray lady? I, it, it's a... It's just another term that the clergy used for soft whisper. Yeah. Oh. Well, apparently no, there's no term, term, uh, a bunch of different names. But why uh, would he be thinking about that right now? Because Connor's in the trend. But I, oh, but even to the game, right, right. Hey, Didn't fish, is that answer, untrained sorry. or trained? Your knowledge. <laughs> then you get a ten. <laughs> have fun with your 10 um so chicken is yep. is hazy thoughts uh ethereal radar going off at all nope but you I are stepping into something which looks uncannily like a, a, a mausoleum <laughs> well I, I figured that much it's ethereal radar what else so do i call it are you it? just going to stare at the door all stare in the, sense, stay in the door frame know. all day or are you going inside <laughs> Truth be told, I'd rather not go inside. Oh I love that well, Zephy is so learning. Is, well... Let the rogue go first and look for traps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you already well, died almost twice. Well, Alan Cubby in there. About here. <laughs> and sees with his special eyes around the room. Nope, nope, nothing here, nothing here. Well, the place thinks like that, but there seems to be no traps. <laughs> Meanwhile, apparently Fish and Connor have a religion <laughs> discussion. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, fi Fish, I'm trying to tell Fish that he really wouldn't know anything about Soft Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> we have to read he's up got, on her. He's got a point. He has heard Usko droning on about her. Yeah, but that doesn't mean he uh, knows no. anything about it. Usko doesn't talk about his religion unless someone asks. Well, you just said her name. Well, but that's because ask. he asked, making a joke. Yeah. Uh. Like, no, she exists. Like, but without... If Usko was... If they had never mm. met Usko, it is literally a DC-20 to know Soft Whisper even exists. Like, Celestia has done such a good job at stomping out and murdering she does all of that. the different uh, priests she does and, and followers of Soft Whisper that it's a DC-20 just to know she exists. <laughs> Nice. So mean. Anyway. I want to I wanna give Carbon Copy a esoteric scholar. <laughs> oh, God. Anyway. Anyways. Anyways, did we find any traps at all? Nope. You found no traps. But okay. that's a sort of coffin thing, and someone should check that out in particular. So, yeah, let's... What does this room look like, aside from mausoleum? There are two large uh, pillars flanking, uh, flanking you, and at the end of it is a small raised portion on, uh, of the floor. Some withered uh, plants and flowers lie uh, lie before a massive stone uh, coffin. Yeah, I'm not going to go near there. Someone else go there. Well, I wonder the who died in here. <laughs> well, there's spirit is I'm in going here now. To I'm going to try and look for a plaque from where I'm standing. Um, actually, chicken. Can I use? And I probably fail. Can I use survival to look for any traces of undead? Uh, as hazy thoughts. I wouldn't really say so. Oh. What if? I mean, okay. I guess you could use it to, you know, to try tracking something. But yeah, that... I mean, that's that's what I mean. I was looking for signs of that undead had been here. <laughs> that you can do. Anyway, Ban doesn't. Uh, permafrost sees nothing. Well, anyone want to go up to the thing and look for traps? 
Nah. Try to, try to open it. I don't want to. No. Oh, for goodness sake. Stick to another Herbal plus Frost two. Step forward. Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Hazen Thoughts is too busy looking at the looking at the uh, coffin and trying to uh, oh. determine its origins. Yeah. Also, Fish will check it out too. So, yeah, Permafrost, Permafrost and Sea Pony will look for traps in the coffin. Alrighty. You look for traps in the coffin. Whoever died here, their spirit Plus is in here now. Five. 19 for looking at traps. You for find Perfrost. no traps. Also, I like how you're looking for traps after Carbon Copy got a 22 when checking the entire room. <laughs> yes! Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, yeah, no, he looked at the room in general. We want to look at the coffin in particular. I just opened the fucking casket. I'm not going to open it. None of you see any traps in the casket. Oh, yeah. I mean, he just goes over, pushes the she... pushes the lid off the casket. Alrighty. We're going to have to put the lid back on. Have a little respect for the dead. Oh, we're not the moment put it you push on. the lid uh, off the casket, a, uh, a wave of black fur, fl uh, fur floods out at you. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, God, more fucking dire rats. <laughs> it's a good thing our witch ah. is in the first front line. Alright, does an 18 hit your anything, media? No. AC is 20. Flatfooted? Right. Also 20? Yeah. Yeah, flatfooted yeah. is also 20. Because my armor is plus 9. How about the witch? <laughs> How about the druid? Alrighty. Does an 18 hit you, permafrost? Yes, it does. It hits the crap out of me. <laughs> Doesn't wear armor. My regular AC is twelve. Oh, that's we, adorable. We, she can't wear armor, and she gets a negative to dexterity. <laughs> <laughs> well, she should. You take three damage, and now roll your fort. <laughs> oh God, four. Let's see. Uh, uh, will, will contract build fever. And uh, fort is that much. So. Yeah, 20 plus that much. For fuck's sake! Alrighty. <laughs> oh it's boy. Stroke of luck. The uh, the massive rat jumping out of uh, out of you misses any major veins <laughs> and does not manage to inflict its uh, its filth fever upon you. All her her oh. multitudes of STDs keeping her safe from other diseases. What STDs? <laughs> In lighter news. Roll your uh, initiative. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, fish. <laughs> he 13. went to chat. He, he goes to chat. It's cause she's cold as ice. Uh, ben, can you roll the d twenty? Can you roll the d twenty for fish? Yeah. Um, right. I got a fifteen. Eleven for uh, wave splitter. And I get a twenty-three. Hey. Ooh, not bad. Let's see. These guys. Hey Z, where'd you go? What was there in the game? Oh, to herp to herp. Where did the initiative go? God damn it, I. There it is. I hate doing this stuff. Yeah. This is meta knowledge, but diorets have a plus three. So. I know now. Yeah, they're... well, they're, they're, they're not exactly mm -hmm. rare monsters or anything. Nope. Yes. Spoilers. Although I never, I never did ask my question, so. <laughs> yes, you did. You asked it. It's quest. It's alignment, and it's favorite color. Exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm afraid you have no one to blame but yourself. I didn't ask its name though. Hey, does everyone enter the initiative? Wait, I need to roll for this um, yeah. again. Yeah, its quest was to find a herring. <laughs> oh wait, I have to re-roll initiative. Uh, no, yes, the quest was to the quest was to find a shrubbery. There it was. And cut down the mightiest tree in the forest with this. Hey! Oh wow! God damn! Still goes after me. Very nice. Yes. I'm just going to let out a girly scream because I just got bit by a rat. <laughs> <sighs> Okay. All right. Media just rolls her eyes at you. <laughs> the worst. Has everyone done their thing now? I think so. Yeah. But it hurts though. Goody. Uda. <laughs> Fish Fishson says, "Oh, it's giving kisses." <laughs> 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 Mimak 
Permafrost just stands there bleeding with several bite wounds. I don't like these it's kisses. giving screaming kisses. her head off. I don't like these kisses. <laughs> I'm it's gonna... being too for it's being too forward. And it's love. It's being too aggressive with its love. I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna tumble around it so it can uh, for the attack of opportunity. Oh no wait, it's flat footed. <laughs> it's flat footed, never mind. Kiss, kiss, No, it isn't bro. because they surprised it, us. Is it flat footed though? No, they surprised, they, they, you, exactly. they surprised us. They're not, okay. Then acrobatics. Let's see. <laughs> 12 might not be enough. Let me just check. Wait, wait are you in the wall? What, nope. Me? It isn't enough. You do not hit the rat. What? Hold no, on. It, also, yes, you're that in that the was... wall right now. Oh you, you can't be there. Then never mind. That wasn't to attack. That was to tumble through its uh, threatened space. But if oh. I can't tumble okay. through there... Well, you probably oh. failed spectacularly because you only can move half speed while tumbling. I can't even move there. Uh, and two, you move. cannot physically face through a wall, so it doesn't yeah. matter. <laughs> yeah, so never mind the tumble. Let me roll attack. Doesn't that... Uh, yeah, okay. What? I didn't roll attack. That is true. Not that. 20... That, that does hit. hit it. More damage. Alrighty. So Surprisingly, uh, you, uh, you, uh, wait, what are you attacking with? Dagger. Alright, you slice into the rat and you seem to basically cut its side open, but it's still standing. Charcoal. I want to save more of it for the goulash later. <laughs> You're tenderizing it. Basically, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of tenderizing, Shockle! Hit it. <laughs> okay. I will move over. <laughs> no, no, go to the and... other side. It hit the, yes, the help me! <laughs> no, 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 don't help her, just help media. We no, I'm fine. I've got clean. Yeah, but the witch can deal with it. <laughs> Why, you're not, what? I'm the least equipped to deal <laughs> with it. See that rat? Look. That, that, that rat gonna be dead. <laughs> you, have to, you have to learn your no, lesson, no. Ben. Mitch, hit the one next. Hit the one in front of Wave Splitter because I've got cleave, and if I kill, if I hit mine, I can immediately go to the one next to Permafrost. <laughs> yeah, oh, but the one okay. next to me is going works. to attack me first. Uh, I'll. Okay, hold up. Cleave, first, I saw how Cleave works. It's a standard action. You hit two things standing right next to each other. It, it changed from 3.5 to Pathfinder. I get the confusion. Second, uh, why are you now phasing into them? What? No, we're not. What? Why is why is Gray phasing into Carbon Copy, Wave Splitter, and Permafrost? He's not. He's not. Looks He's not. My he, he has a 10-foot reach. Yep. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. He can if he makes him feel bigger. He needs to actually spend a trait in order to get a 10-foot reach. Oh, all uh, right, like, then. Uh, yeah, uh, quadruped large creatures do not get an increased reach. Oh, oops. Right. Okay, well, then I'll move right here, and I'll smack this one. Uh, it's not super hard to get in melee combat with it, though, seeing as it's <laughs> right there. Here's the thing. If that's a smack normal that. dire red, if that's a normal dire red, it has, like, one HP left. <laughs> yes. That. Dead. You hit it. I wanted to tenderize it, not not mash it to. Oh, dead. Tenderize it, not murderize it. Yeah, <laughs> you. Unfortunately, you do murderize it. I mean, what I are you attacking I... with? His fists, his hoofs. I I, I just poke it. He's yeah, you manage to poke his head into its torso. He's an un he's an unarmed guy. <laughs> he just steps on it again. The rat gives a pathetic little. <laughs> And it's dead. <laughs> Don't Oops. wait. I'm gonna catch it alive for you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, but now it's out of the initiative. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. This one in front of the witch. <laughs> Eat the witch. Eat the witch. Eat yeah. the witch. Yeah, that's that freaking hits. hits. <laughs> yep, that hits, and it also <laughs> reveals. 
Ah, son of a Oh, bitch. shit. Let me point out. Right. I want to point something out here. Ben, this is because you have to learn your lesson. You're a caster. Hey, and you don't go to the front line. All right. Let's see. I, well, front line. Where is the rat hiding? <laughs> Behind us. In the ground. There are two pillars there. Oh, 11. There are two pillars so, there. Uh, there's a bunch. Oh, I see what you're saying now. I'm picking up what you's putting down, son. <laughs> right. Oh, shit. That is actually exactly the DC. God. You make it. Oh, thank God. I just want you to contract filth fever. Is that too much <laughs> to ask? Oh, no. You might contract it now. Well, if she contracts filth fever, she's your problem. I don't think That's 11 annoying. hits you, does it? Actually, I am still flat footed, and so it does. Oh my god. Yeah. Zephy, stop making noise. God, Sorry. you poor thing. You take four damage and roll your uh, gain. I'm fish just going he, to scream. Fish said, he's, fish said he's dumb. He forgot that he had improved initiative. So, what is that your... He has a 50. Oh. Thank god. You do not contract field fever. Media. <laughs> How much HP are you at at this point? Huh? How much HP are you at at this point? I'm at nine. <laughs> oh god. Alright, I'm attacking the one in front of me. I'm attacking the one in front of me. This one? Oh wait, yes. see that. Yeah. This one. Yes. Goody. Go ahead. Uh and I'm not gonna power attack it, so that's a plus six. Why not? <laughs> because I don't want to. Also, chicken. Yep. Uh fish actually has a fifteen uh, and he would go before Usko. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh my uh, that's god. That's a crit. That's, that's a crit rat. on the rat. It is. Hold well, confirm. roll again. You do confirm. God. Okay. Uh, let's see. So that's that's. No wait. I just roll my damage and we double it, right? Yep. You roll yes. No, you roll the damage twice. Do I? Yeah, oh, you yeah, roll that's it twice. right. That's how we do. Okay. Two D ten. That poor rat. Uh, so 2d10 plus 4. Actually, yep. no, 2d10 plus 6 because my strength is 3. Oh, God. Yeah, that's... God damn it. Almost. Well done. Almost. Good work. 21. Oh, oh Jesus Christ, yeah. You uh, yeah. smash that rat into a pile of goo. And then I'm going to use cleave, and I'm going to attack that's the rat right, right next to me. Uh, the rat right. in front of Wave Splitter. What, Connor? That is not how cleave works. It's not how cleave works, apparently. You have to declare you use a. It's a standard action to use cleave, and you declare before you. I said I was going to use cleave. No, you said it after you attacked. Yes. Well, no, I said said before you attacked. I said before my turn, stop, I'm going to use cleave when I do. You know, that's fair, he did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Yeah, It was my my plan all along. Let's remember it for for the future. Just have to. I, Next time, I, remember to say I, it before uh, before you uh, attack on your turn. Okay. I will, also, don't I will get, do so. Don't forget that when you do cleave, you take a minus two to your AC. Mm-hmm. That's fine. I am just reminding you of how the feat works. Well, that, is, that, is okay, that is okay with me. Minus two like AC. Everything else, uh, I feel fucked up. Minus two so AC, the, the rest will murder killed, him. The first one that I hit was the one that was in front of me. The one that was in front of me, chicken. Uh, the right. one, the one that I'm hitting now is the one that's in front of permafrost. Yeah, just swapped them out. <laughs> 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 they all look the same. Uh, that's oh, a twenty-four. That certainly does hit. A poor rat. That poor rat. Uh, so that is three. Uh, that's a five. That is exactly its HP. Which means it's still alive. It's staggered. It's still alive. It's staggered. It's squeaking around <laughs> in, uh, on the remains of whoever was uh, was laid to rest in that coffin. You didn't even manage to kill a diorite. No, you're right. I squished one into goo and used <laughs> the remaining force of the blow to just almost <laughs> murder another one. I choose mm-hmm. to remember it differently. Carbon copy is going to... Fly over behind this rat, although it kind of looks like it's in front of it. No mind that. And he's gonna try and see if he can attack it. Well, uh, no. hopefully hit it. 
We tame uh, one, and then Carbon, get, get Carbon gets a steed. <laughs> I, that's hilarious. That uh, but definitely Carbon hits. Oh, you... And Check actually, out. since he's uh, since he's using his rapier, that is a crit threat. Jared, Jared. Yeah. You will eat an attack opportunity. Fair enough. You will. And see if the rat can hit Carbon. <laughs> <laughs> it can. <laughs> well. Carbon takes two damage. All of two damage. Don't forget that for feeder. Exactly, he needs to roll his fort. Let's see if he can take a filth feeder. Where the fuck is his fort? Filth feeder? Filth feeder. Filth feeder. Filth feeder. Filth feeder. He, he feeds the filth. Oh no, I am. Oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, did. Carbon immediately feels sick as fuck, but he no. still goes through with his, with his he, attack he, and he uses would... it as his rage. He wouldn't feel sick I as mean... fuck. Because the no, onset... it takes one to three days to. Uh, yeah. To... So the onset is the day. Don't actually have us roll these fort saves. Like, you know what? Normally, how diseases work is that uh, you know if somebody gets hit by a rat or something, how many times they would. Then you roll behind the scenes their fort saves to see if they actually get the disease. Fair Fair enough. Enough. We are not actually supposed to be rolling this ourselves or knowing that these things can give us filth fever. What the fuck? That's the yeah. disease. Anyway, I mean, they're dire rats. We kind of know. But... Yep. I, mean, I was gonna say, why could, was there a so such kind of guess? Let's remember it for future use. And because rolling. it's like contracting a disease. Yep. Yeah. Anyway, for future use, we know it now. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. He <laughs> even with uh, even actually um, time to roll his backstab because he's a rug now. A rug. A rug. He's a rug. A rugged rug. A raggedy rug. Raggedy, raggedy, rug, rug, rug. Yep, yeah, he does manage to kill the rat. Just barely. He stands triumphantly above it and looks up at permafrost and goes, I have saved your life! Praise me. <laughs> Praise me. <laughs> Wave splitter. Good work, you killed an oversized rodent, you oversized rodent. <laughs> hey, I am an insectoid. Okay, sorry, undersized rodent. You're actually a fae. I know, but I have insect wings and insect antennae. <laughs> Permafrost is still screaming. <laughs> well, there's still a red alive in front of her. Yep. I Anyways, mean, it's got like, two turn. broken legs and it's like crying on the ground. It's still mm -hmm. a danger to all of us. To be fair, she just got fucking swarmed by fuck tons <laughs> of rats. Uh, he's going to pop a capsule in Permafrost's mouth. Oh dear. What? He's giving you drugs, fan. Oh. Oh, drugs. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, it is a good eddy. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. It's good, a good berry. berry. Good berry. Oh. <laughs> <a> good. Uh, <laughs> eat that. Yeah. <laughs> this is Eddie. Oh eat my him. god. For a moment there, I thought there was some kind of slang. Yeah, me Mickey, too. Okay. Which in and of itself is slang. <laughs> Here, eat this. I'm calling it Eddie. It's <laughs> very good. He's good. So how Trust much does this good Eddie heal? One. <laughs> and you feel very full. <laughs> yeah, you have eaten now. Yay! I am still screaming because the rats are still attacking. <laughs> well, I, we scream with the berry in your mouth. There's one rat and it's squirming in agony. <laughs> Who's go? It's your turn. Poor, poor, poor kill rat. A rat? Who's go? Your turn. <laughs> Um, I could get to the rat. I felt like crawling into a coffin and stomping all over some poor dead fellow. <laughs> what do you mean? You don't? Uh, I, I, I know I'm a freak. Yeah. Um. Ah, you'll you'll be fine. I'll I'll just. And then there's these two fucking jack wagons who got mauled by rats. <laughs> <laughs> they opened the damn coffin though. Although we... Carbon Cuppy has it has an excuse because he's literally smaller than the things, but. Fucking permafrost. Um, yep. Calvin Cubby didn't even open the coffin. He was just sitting around on his, uh, in permafrost's hair. Yeah. I'll feel like the horrible squealing and pain of that one rat. Yeah, take it out of its misery then. Mm -hmm. I'm not crawling into a coffin. Then throw something then at it. Then let me shoot it, okay? <laughs> I, it's currently in cover because it's in a fucking coffin. <laughs> it's true. Oh, Alright, well. so permafrost turn then? No. Five foot step! 
<laughs> no. It's not your fucking turn, you piece of shit. God. <laughs> Get back near the red. No. Sorry, it was unclear what Usko was doing. I was about to say, I was going to fucking channel positive energy. Oh. Kill these gack asses. Oh. And that would include the rats. Uh, no, I Wait, was like, wouldn't you be channeling negative energy to kill them since they're living creatures? The fuck? What? <laughs> you said channel positive energy to kill the rat. No, he did. No, no. heal us. Hearing us. Oh, heal. I'm sorry, I heard kill. <laughs> Connor. That's because you're... Connor, please heal the rat, too. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, I have select channeling. Fuck the rats. I want to keep it as a second pet and feed it to my other pet. No, Good look, Lord. if we heal it, we train it, and then Carbon, then no. carbon Cuppy has Just a steed that die. he can ride. <laughs> uh, anybody who is within the feet uh, gets back 4 HP. So everyone, so it's, oh, it's nice. Uh, up, up frost. Nice, back at full. <laughs> Fish, four. Fish doesn't want us to kill the rat. <laughs> <laughs> Hazy so Fox is back at frost full turbid. again. Uh, carbon... Carbon is just missing oh. one HP. Oh. Yeah. My footstep, and now I'm going to use the uh, ray of frost. Uh, <laughs> he still has cover because he's in a coffin, right? Yeah, yeah. and permafrost is also firing into melee without precise <laughs> shot. It's another the, minus four. <laughs> oh come on! Fun. I was just been chewed on. What do you expect me if to he do? Hit, if he hits, the red will, if he hits the red, will die. Yep. So zero. Let's see. If, so that would be if a minus stiff breeze four comes along in a melee, melee and we'll do the we'll do we'll calculate cover and such after the cover will <laughs> give it <laughs> nope. That's it. you manage to <laughs> misfire so badly you aim your hoof to the ceiling and freeze that you hear some <laughs> ominous crackling going on from above Okay, I'm going to try and calm down from my screaming fit. <laughs> the red star. Hey, meanwhile, Hazy Thor's oh, no, turn. Not. Actually, the, right. that's the uh, rat that died. It got that got the nine. What? Oh. Remember, oh. Sean switch those around. Hazy Thoughts is going to walk over here, past permafrost, back into the place that she was, and he's going to take his his two lashes and and hit the rat to put it out of its misery. <laughs> Do it. Let's see. Oh well. It's the first time I've actually used the ectoplasmic ectoplasmic lashes. Just roll one. Uh, roll a one. 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 Come on. Hang on. yourself. I want to see that red survive and come back later as a level twenty boss or some shit. <laughs> a, ve a very very upset rat. Adventurers, for months I have haunted you. <laughs> I will not get it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but I have two weapon fighting, so I get two attacks, right? Uh, actually, no, because you moved. Yep. Uh, it's two, a full round two action. Two weapon fighting is a full oh. round action. Okay, then. So. You had no, one I job. It. It's. <laughs> <laughs> that zero HP red will not die. <laughs> I'm just going to, um. To be fair, I was in a panic. I'm gonna switch <laughs> these two around so they're actually they the right rats. Wait, why? I thought that was because the right Because technically she did that before, but yeah. That one would have a 19, uh, so I go before it still. Yep. Actually, charcoal also goes before it. So where is it now? Still in the middle? Yeah. There we no, go. it's down at the bottom. Okay. Yeah. It's still in the middle. Right. Oh. Anyway, Uda. God, God damn it. I'm gonna move. Into the I'm coffin? Gonna move. I'm gonna move. Actually, I'm gonna move. Oh no, I can't. So I have to can't. go. Have That's to the wall. I have to move inside. The... I climb to the into coffin. the coffin. I climb to the into the wall. I climb Why? into the coffin. Why? Why, Uda? Why are you doing this? <laughs> I have a very. Look, Uda right now has a very calculating look on his face as he takes out the dagger. And. Fillets the rat if he can hit when, it. Is he, is he chucking it? No, is no, 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 no. It? no. <laughs> he does hit it. Okay. Why, Uda? Actually, that would be a uh, 
That would be a minus four because I will hit it non lethally. Oh. <laughs> so that's a 20. She's gonna knock it out. Yeah, I'm gonna. Six non lethal damage, so it's KO. Yeah, it is definitely KO'd. And then I'm gonna pick it up and put it in a bag. God, poor rat. Uh, well, a sack. Together with the other, with the dead rat. And then I'm gonna climb out of the coffin again. <laughs> Wait, you're putting side. the living rat together with the dead rats. It's there a you go, now you can control the rat. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete the rest of them there now in your right. bag. Yeah, and then I'm gonna climb out on the other side of the coffin after wading through it. Really, Uda? Yeah. Really? <laughs> wait, wait, I'm not finished yet. <laughs> I'm not finished. I'm gonna I'm gonna dust the, all the all the bone dust and corpse dust off myself just... And then I'll look to the others. Okay, all yours. Well, the <laughs> is over. Carbon is itching at his bite. I'm Next look time, at... I am not opening things <laughs> yeah. for you people. Also, I look at Carbon and say, oh, good uh, lion. I look at Carbon and say, don't scratch that, it might get infected. Already might have, might be, actually. Oh, dang, nab it. You might die. We'll see later. Well, oh, that's certain. Uh, that sure You'll is be comforting. Fine. Um, fine. Hazy thoughts is gonna come over to Carbon, <laughs> and uh, can I make a heal check to see if I see if I can like figure out a cure for his filth fever? Go ahead. We don't know he has filth fever. That you, yet. Yeah, you don't Just know that he's. Oh, that is true. Also, it does technically take some time for it to set in. So. Yep. True. Well, well, okay. Move away. Move away. Goodness, people I'm are just gonna... insane. G roll to see. That's going to tremble. <laughs> all right, all right. Both of you, let me see your bites. We're going to clean them out and bandage them. Permafrost shows him his bo her body. <laughs> because out. the rats are all over. Cabin Cubby geez. shows him his uh, his one leg, which basically looks like if that rat had bitten any harder, it would have gone to the bone. Uh, he's. I healed him actually. Wahaha. Oh. I mean that yeah. is true. Um, alright. <laughs> well, it's mostly healed. Uh... He's missing one HP. It's still bleeding. Well, it, it's still there. Let's uh... mention he's diminutive. Those rats could probably eat him in one bite if they tried. Could have. Should have I there. will, uh, roll a treat disease for both of them. Nice. Because I don't know whether or not, because I don't, I don't know that Permafrost made all of her saves, but I'll roll a treat disease for her too. Let me just Thank find you. treat disease. Uh, it's I roll a d I uh, roll my heal check and if I meet or exceed the DC of the spell or of the disease, the next time they make a save they get a plus four. Oh neat. For so, disease. do you mean treat disease or diagnose disease? Treat disease. I do, I can't tell they have any diseases. I'm just treating the wounds. I mean, to All be right. fair, I, um, um, okay. To be fair, you can probably tell that permafrost has some diseases. What All are you of talking them. about? <laughs> All right. the diseases. Hey, hey, hey! She has no STDs, thank you very much. She has not slept with anything. No, no, uh, no. She only has mental diseases. <laughs> well, most that's STDs... not true. She slept with perm... That's not true. She slept with carbon. The worst STDs actually <laughs> go to the brain. No, eventually. she made out with carbon. Get that right. Yep. I will book myself, guys. Did you treat your syphilis yet? Oh. Permafrost? Uh, so anyways, permafrost... And then carbon copy. I treat permafrost first because she's a more fucked up one. Yep. <laughs> ways than one. In more, yeah, in all the ways. <laughs> and carbon copy. Nice. So if I exceed the D, so if I uh, beat the DC for either of them, then if they need to make another save, the next save they make against that disease, uh, they get a plus four on their save. Oh, goody. So that means both of them get a plus four. Yes. Nice. And just imagine him putting a band-aid on, uh, on Carbon Copy and him just sitting there looking at his leg, which is now 90% bandage. It's like hanging on by a flap of skin. Yep. Put a okay, band-aid on it. Wait, he's like, he, yeah, he's it's just entirely wrapped in the bandage. Also, yep. Yeah, you'll something. be fine. Oh, what does Fish want? I'm waiting for him to type. Oh, you wanted to aid aid another. Oh, oh, nice. Well, 
if he's at a plus nine, he literally can't fail the eight in another roll. So, uh, add a plus two to both those rolls. I got nice. So that's a plus Yay. six. Yay! That was exciting. Uh, yeah. I am tempted to use the the, the unconscious red as an impromptu uh, morning star. Oh my god! Look morning at this red. Place. Look at this place. It's big enough to <laughs> it's big enough to throw a rat around. Well, you could you could do that and just call it a morning rat. Get it? Because it's star backwards. <laughs> That's terrible. Yes, it is. <laughs> After I'm done being the fucking parent to all these assholes. <laughs> Not me. I did well. Uh, God, you went trumping, trudging through a goddamn grave. No, yep. I, I stomped through a coffin. That's a difference. Coffin, whatever. It's hard to tell. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> and, uh, fucking assholes. <laughs> I will peer inside the coffin, wondering why they cracked this thing open in the first place. You see, well, mostly you see evidence of rat again. But you also see what used to be a very elegant looking man, a very elegant looking gown. She's now a skeleton. Spooked. Um, the gown? Yes, the gown is a skeleton. No, the mare is a skeleton. I mean, like you said, gown. Like, the gown is actually still noticeably a gown? The, the gown is still noticeably a gown. Not bad. Detect magic? Go ahead. Appraise. Uh, I, I, <laughs> I am casting the detected magics. 14 for appraise on the gown. Well, you see that probably no one would pay anything for something that rat-eaten. It's still visibly a gown, yes, but it is full of, well, rat it is not magic. Nice. Is well, it? Oh, right. You don't have to roll anything for, uh, for detect magic. Oh, I, 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 if I want to figure out what the magic is, I'd have to roll for something. Yeah. Right. Fair enough. You detect no magic from the gown. All right. Uh, so it's just a fairly tough dress. Fair enough. Um, mm -hmm. I will I then... Yeah? Can I use mending guess... on the gown? Can you use what it? now on the gown? Can I use mending on the gown to repair it? It seems too far gone to be able to re be repaired by simple Ac mending. Actually, that <laughs> mending would still work, but the gown would be too big for it. Because there is a there is a is size it? and a weight limit for mending. That is true. Um, that doesn't really matter. Uh, I will try as best as I can to rearrange the skeleton and really want to <laughs> shiv Uda in the fucking kidneys for stump <laughs> <and> skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I will push the lid back on and make sure it's properly sealed. Hold, hold on before you do that. Why? Um, can I use detect psychic significance? Why yeah. we continue to molest the corpse? Because it's fun. I want to. I want to see if I can get any reading off the corpse as far as like any any knowledge that I may be able to glean from. Whatever's left of their spirit, if it's still there. Go ahead and try. Why? Why? I want to too. Because I haven't used this and I'm interested in using it. Damn it, woman. I just closed the fucking top. I said wait. Who is doing all that noise? That's not me. Me neither. Uh, you detect the presence of psychically significant items in your vicinity. Uh, something about psychic imprints or histories that can be read by the psychometry, uh, wait. Psychometry occult skill unlock or items under the effect of the charge object or implant false reading. Okay, never mind. I guess this has no purpose whatsoever. Good. None. Okay, a, never mind. It's a good thing we spent several minutes on that. Okay. I want to look in the coffin. Tiny. I want to take a closer look in the coffin. <clears throat> Is there anything... Uh, like I literally just put the face out of the coffin. So you rolled a uh, uh, 14 for perception on the coffin or what? No, I rolled a 9. Oh. You see a skeleton in a very nice gown. A very nice rat-eaten and very destroyed gown. 
All right. Why do you continue to stick your nose in the coffin? You know what? I'm going to look through the books that I found to see if there's anything about a, a dead lady. There's still no light there, though. No, like, no reading letter. I, I still have light on me. That is true. She is creating it. It's still kind of shit light, though. How about we go outside and read it in, like, you know, proper daylight? It's a decent amount, enough light to read. Fine. And I'm not doing anything else, so why the fuck not? Okay. Could I please just reseal the coffin? Eh, fine. Yes, go ahead. Fuck's oh, sake. Hold on a second. I'm going to help you reseal the lid. Uh, hold on so. a second. What? What could you possibly want? Why do we continue to disturb the, the resting? I'm looking. I'm currently looking through the notes. Uh, Chicken, do I find anything? Nope. You find nothing. Good. Nothing pertaining to this coffin, at least. The only thing you find is the name on uh, on uh, on the books of the, uh, of the ponies who owned them. All right. Who's got anyway. any uh, any anything uh, significant in your books? About. Maybe we could fi- figure out what the significance are behind this person. Only very Why here. does it matter? Because it might be important. Well, in you know. Case, in case you're wondering, the name of the pony who owned uh, who owned the books seemed to be a lady softly forced. Lady softly forced. Softly forced. <laughs> What are you thinking Softly about? Forced. Softly forced. Softly forced. Ah. Probably related in some way to brute force and softly up there. <laughs> and the next question is, even if she is relevant to this, why must we why must why must we leave her casket open? I thought you told Because we might still need and something to through her remains. I give a not so subtle look at Uda. Uh, Hazy thoughts is just going to start putting the coffin back on. He's, actually... he's not caring what uh, other people are doing right now. He's just putting the lid on the coffin. En- Honestly, this entire thing is creeping me the fuck out. Perhaps we should just leave dead people be dead people and go back upstairs. It's yeah, cold totally... down here. You know what? Uh, you. To be fair, I do really, really need a shower now. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm going to pull my red-filled sex on my back and just head on out. <laughs> God damn. I will mutter a prayer blessing over the casket. Where are you going, Uda? I hey. thought I'm going to head out again. You suddenly just disappeared into the, uh, into the void. No, I'm in the hallway. Like there? See, there. I'm there. It fucked up for me. I was trying to select you. Okay. Ominous, don't, ominous. Don't, don't, don't anyway, all of you stand still for a moment. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Are we just yep. warping out? There we go. Oh shit, I forgot I forgot courage. <laughs> oh, Screw courage. Oh no, he's in with the rats. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So all of you head back uh, back out to Alicove. Just update all your to- all y'all's tokens. Can we get XP for the fighting? <laughs> yes, you can. In just a moment. <laughs> yes, I, I do get... kind of want XP for being Let's see. bitten here half to death. Let's see. Loot total. One, eliminating disease for permafrost. Cool. Actually, that was for carbon. Five diorets. Um, five diorets for me. Five dead diorets. We have life diorets. six players. So we whatever go. you get, five by six. <laughs> there we go. Alrighty. Although at the same point, As... Zeph did have two people, so I don't know how else that would. Um, work. I just I've just been updating them with the the same amount of XP uh, each. Since he's about to leave, it doesn't really matter. Well, it matters because you know if uh oh um... he was technically helping. Yes. Oh, oh fuck fucking shiv you. Zephy is not getting du- Zephy is not getting double credit for being jack dick useless. <laughs> uh, chicken. Yeah, just shut up. I'm trying to count. Oh, sorry. Anyways, as we're heading back up, I'm pulling out the cloaks and putting it around myself again. 
like normal. Gotta uh, make my uh, sky. You know, not fair. Media was actually useful, but fucking hazy. I possible. I killed I killed at least half of those rats. Uh, charcoal killed the other half. They were I killed. Whoa. Like what? Three of them? No, you killed two of them. I well, provided light and then got chewed on. I'm not fun unconscious though. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and make my disguise roll with Hazy because I'm putting back on my disguise. That is your XP total for the rats. Each or in total? In total. So oh, we don't man. level up from that. <sighs> nope. <sighs> Fine. Beef, uh, I would also take the key with 16, me. 16 divided by 6. You know what? Yeah, fuck it. Hazy, Hazy Thoughts gets no XP. Fuck it. I don't care. He's leaving soon. We are... We are... Fuck you, chicken. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, chicken, I would take the key back with me. Got it. Would take it out the door because, you know, might be worth something. It's pretty to be fair, Hazy Thoughts didn't really actually do anything in that entire... <laughs> Yeah. Entire session. True. She got she got almost killed and she found a trap that way. So yeah, permafrost is heading back to the inn for a nice good shower. I'm and going I to guess the is going fuck wherever. I'm going to the bath? wagon. Your shower is a fire. Shower, whatever. Point being, she needs to wash off all of the filthy rat. All of the filthy rat. Uh, all the filthy rat. Wants to, all uh, the filthy fish rat. wants you to stop, man. Okay. D plus seven. He kicks and you I into the water. Run. He kicks you into the water. <laughs> Carbon copy right. flutters so he doesn't get drowned. Hold Just on. Roll twice. Wait a minute. That, that would result. actually require a combat maneuver thing, because otherwise you're just kicking me. And I'm going All to right. assume it's down here where uh, where fish actually is. <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm it. rolling for you. I'm going to roll for you. What do I have to roll? <laughs> Come on. Um, I made my disguise check uh, mm -hmm. for Hazy. It was a 23 because I get to roll twice and I get to take the better result as part mm -hmm. of a trait that I have. Yep. Fish, fish, give me, give me the attack roll of Come on. Also, Hoon, you forgot your unconscious rat. In a moment. He's still, he's still in the building. So he is. I can't see him. Now you can. Thank you. He doesn't have a light radius. It's very nope. easy to miss him. A fearsome plus one. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. All right. Come on. Who is the most oh, hurt? Oh, yeah. Right Who That's is the 20. most hurt right now? Um, permafrost. Because you just got bunted into the lake. <laughs> I'm going to say, okay, I'm going to say <laughs> that Wave Splitter just flat out bull rushes her. <laughs> into the water and jumps in after her. And dunks yep. her head underneath. Sounds just about <sighs> right. <laughs> Be cleansed of your filth. Be cleansed. <laughs> I'm going to flail my arms. <laughs> the sin. May the sin wash I'm away screaming. from you, woman. All your God. sins. <laughs> God, uh, fucking children. <laughs> I will sorry. help permafrost out of the water. <laughs> I was going to say, Hazy's Carbon Copy help will. Too help as much as he can. He grabs yeah. onto permafrost then... Why is he not in front? Two front there. Let's go change your bandages. <laughs> <sighs> I'm going to glare daggers at Way Splitter! Carbon Copy is going to pat your forehead. Easy now, girl. How are you feeling? I'm good. <laughs> Hazy Dots is gonna Hazy Dots is gonna now. reach out Hazy Dots is gonna reach out and uh, do cure light wounds on permafrost, heal her all the way back up. <laughs> all, all clean, bro. <laughs> all clean. <laughs> you know what? No, no, fuck it. Fuck it. You're getting a slap to the face for that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what? So you get five and I failed for it. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. So, so you get five points back of health. Oh, yeah, I'm fully Fan. healed. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, meanwhile, Charcoal's just started to play with uh, Courage. 
She tr she no. tried fish and uh, she got a, an eight. So I don't think an eight will hit you. Anyway, um, I'm Stop. gonna I'm on my way to the wagon and I will stop near Bit. Was it Bit or Bill? Mm -hmm. It was Bit. Bit. I'm gonna stop near Bit, take the unconscious rat out of the bag, and hold it up like a plushie. And just, hey, Bit, look <laughs> what I got. Bit is going to look up at you and go, well, that sure is a rat. It's still alive too. I'm well, that wag ain't too bad. How much you want for it? Two hundred. Uh, Two hundred gold. <laughs> how about a tenner? Let's say a fiver. Seven. Mm, six. Done. Alrighty. I throw the red down. <laughs> <laughs> he catches the red and floats you up six uh, gold pieces. Burp. Yay! Oh, Jake, where, uh, where's the bath at? <laughs> Uh, you well, just then. got dunked in it. <laughs> yep. No, like the actual bat. Yep. You just got dunked. You just, you got, just dunked got dunked in, in it. it. You're in a pirate city. Stop. What do you What do you expect? <laughs> this I will is stop. How you, this is how you make money. Realize. Right yeah, I will stop and realize. Fuck. Permafrost is carrying some of the books we needed. <laughs> Shit. <Fuck. laughs> yeah, those are probably now like super ruined. <laughs> and I, I will, I will. Debate actually like screaming at Wave Splitter, but then actually, realize that he is. He's just not going to listen because he's just not worth fucking time. Here's the thing. And the thing. I will... we, can, we can use mending on doors. That is Yeah, true. Just, just bring him to me. Uh, well, we all have access to mending. The problem is that every cast of mending takes 10 minutes. It's going to take hours to fix those books. Well, well not, if all three of us, not if all three of us work at it. It's going to take hours to fix the books. Probably. So I go to the inn and ask where the where the uh, showers or baths or whatever are. You get laughed at. The zebra points out the window <laughs> at the river. <laughs> Mind you, still... uh, what's paper? It's a thing that you've encountered since day one, since walking on the land, you fuck wagon. How, you, how are we so, so, how is anyone supposed to be clean? <laughs> she laughs at you again. Lady, there's water everywhere. <laughs> Lady, That's how we keep clean. Lady, none of us is ever clean. We carry the weight of our our morals around with us. Our evil <laughs> deeds. Life isn't clean, lady. Life is dirty. She, lean, uh, she leans in. You are painfully new around here, ain't you? <laughs> I'm just completely flabbergasted. Just... <sighs> Carbon copy reaches down and pats your head again. There, there. It's okay. I have heard there is a fresh water, a uh, fresh water of a lake not far from here. Where's my cat? Oh there. Where's my cat? Where's my cat, dude? Where's my cat? <laughs> you don't happen to keep Honey, those books. Where is uh... my cat? <laughs> uh. well, Frost, you don't happen to have the uh, water-resistant sack that you kept those pook books and right she doesn't respond because she's still being broken over the whole there is no path here i'm a frost are you okay ah. carbon copy waves his, uh, his hoof in front of her eyes are you there girl slap her <laughs> slap Blink her twice hard. If you, Slimy. Twice if you can hear me Why, me <laughs> and covered in filth and rat bites How just you slap her hard the uh, the cat will try to lick you clean. <laughs> her, the, bartender her, her gonna, uh, the bartender is gonna go. Ah, oh, come now, it ain't gonna be all that bad. Here, here, let me help you. She goes back here and she finds something which looks like alcohol so strong it could eat through a table. Just pour a bit of this on your wounds; it'll be fine. Have they already treated? However. Um, what is the issue, Permafrost? Why are you going to catatonic state again? I think I think she doesn't want to bathe in the corpse or ever. Uh, that's fair enough. Um, I, I take it that you have no cleaner water available. Sorry, mate. If you Not want cleaner well. water, you want uh, if you want clean water, you want to go to Sweet Sands or well, you could you could stop at Kelp Lake. 
Uh, it is quite all right. I have a way of improvising. Uh, might I ask you for a favor? Ah, depends on, uh, on how big the favor is. And well, I have to uh, get a little bit of monetary compensation for it. Well, of course, I'd want to rent a bath basin. Uh, sorry, we ain't got no bath basin. We do have some pretty big barrels, though. Uh, that would also work. All right, you might uh, end up smelling a bit like ale, but... How's uh, three gold for renting one of those sound? Um, assuming I... Three gold and I get to boil water. Sounds good to me. I will throw three gold on the table. And I will... And as she begins collecting up pots for uh, me to put water in, I will use Cantrip Create Water and fill them with water. Nice. Cool. We will boil... Together we will boil the pots... I also realize I've been horribly fucked on this deal. And... <laughs> well, what do you expect? Uh, You're an alicobe. Yeah, fuck it. I don't really feel like arguing. I already have enough <laughs> children to deal with. <laughs> Meanwhile, the cat is... The cat is, Let's go. the cat is just licking Puma for us. Meow, bitch! Meow, bitch! It's like the Yoshi's Island noises with the tongue. You get, um, well, it it, it, it looks like a basket, but really it's a barrel. Awesome. <laughs> I will set the barrel up in, her, in Permafrost's room. I will drag Permafrost's prima donna. Right, Permafrost can walk. Oh, now she I... can walk. She was, she was able to walk over there before. And I will get the fucking diva's bath ready. <laughs> well, you can control the barrel. Thank you. Awesome. Yay. Anyways, Hazy Thoughts and Media have both gone to go see uh, Granny. Nice. I well, really, I really hate calling her Granny because just out of personal, just I like using formal when I can. Plus, she's not your Granny. Call her Mama Makahapa. It's what she does, but it's my Granny. And I, I am more than a little disgruntled that Permafrost just walks the fuck off and doesn't bother to help Usko <laughs> drag. <laughs> fuck I, 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 I would have helped. I just. <laughs> Fuck you, would. Look, she can what? only look. She can only make things colder. She can't make things hotter. What if she could have Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. She's gonna also uh, just like her relationship. Get, her, get the uh, books from her saddlebag. Realize that they've been wet from from being pushed into the river, and she's just going to give another angry hug up at the sky towards uh wherever the hell wave splitter is. It's like, <laughs> yeah, give those to Usko. You think he's on the ceiling? I mean, he can't fly. <laughs> well, I don't know where he is currently. Carbon Cobb is going to that. pet her head. There, there. You're going to be all right. Mm, who dropped him the goal? So, yeah, Usko Call now it. has uh, the ruined books with him. Connor dropped from the call. Yeah, yeah. I had a feeling. While he's dropped on the call, I'm gonna go get myself a snack. Be right back. Yeah, I may as well get a uh, get a drink as well. So I shall be back as well. <laughs> yep, I just got to go see Mama Makahaba. Uh, what are the advantages of having a room that's about 15 by 10 feet? Is that my uh, is that uh, I'm never too far away from a snack. <laughs> well, you really just like re can reach your hoof out the door and just like grab a snack that someone has as they're walking by. I return. Yeah. Oh, do you? I do. Uh, I have do come you? back. By the way, that's for later. But twenty two to cook the dead rats to cook. <laughs> Yeah, you cook the fuck out of those dead rats. It hardly even tastes anything like rat. You can, you almost can't taste the disease. I no, I I cook the fuck out of them so the rat taste is gone and it's just you know seasoned meat. 
Mm-hmm. It's literally, it's literally street meat. I'm yep. gonna make and street no meat. Ice bags. Yeah, you, you have to wet books now, and I just rolled a 22 to cook reds. <laughs> <laughs> I will anyway. lay books out in my room so that they can dry off, and then yeah. I'll attempt to mend them later. Okay, so here's what I'm here's what I do while the others are busy with their stuff. I'm gonna spend the next several hours uh, skinning the dead rats, putting the like the skin <laughs> and the fur outside the wagon so it can dry off. <coughs> are you okay? Are you all right? Chicken. Oh god, she's dead. Oh no! Oh no! She wrote cough cough in the chat. <laughs> she even coughs in chat. Terrible. Oh god. Let's go to the well, it looks like I'm DM now. No. Oh god. No, you're not. Who's Take ready? Who's ready to go into Pony Storm King Thunder again? Anyway. Oh, better. No. Okay. Anyway, like I was like, like I was saying, I'm gonna put the skins outside to let them dry a bit in the fresh air. No, let them air out a bit. I'm gonna make leather out of them later or something. And I'm gonna nice. make like two, two big uh, pots full of, well, red goulash basically. Good. So everyone should have enough food. Everyone who wants to eat, very good. And if someone wants to, if someone from the village wants to buy something, they can. Uh, okay. Uh, Unfortunately, no one seems interested this time around. Yeah. Um, I will hang a sign out of one of the carts saying "clerical healing available" <laughs> at reduced rates. Oh, Spiritual wait. healing. Okay, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna take one pot. Put it next to the card, and put another sign up. Uh, what do I say? One plate of goulash for everyone who wants to. <laughs> no, no, wait, 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 wait. One, one plate of goulash for every patient. Nice. With a little, um, with a little, little drawing of Usko next to it. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, yeah, roll uh, roll craft check to see how well you draw this. <laughs> <laughs> what should I roll? What is it? Craft check. Craft draw. Well, craft drawing, which you have no points in. But no, I wouldn't. I want, I want you to you roll diplomacy to see how well you do this. What diplomacy? Why? Yeah, to see want, if you actually you want, entice anyone. Who do you want to roll diplomacy? Both of you. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, I'm literally just making. Okay, first, of, first the diplomacy. Does Usko get confusing, confused for a therapist? Eighteen. Oh dang! And Hilarious. For the quality of the painting, because Zephy wanted it. If you roll low, I'm going to assume that's what happens. You're just confused for a therapist. <laughs> uh, twelve. Ten for the painting. So it's not <laughs> quite as nice looking as it should be. No, but the smell of the goulash does actually draw in some ponies. Okay. Okay, uh, so like I said, this will take me, like the cooking and so will take me two or three hours at least. Actually, probably more like four. So everything the others do is before that. Please tell me one of the pirates stops in and just starts telling him his life story and being like, and that's why my father left me. <laughs> Maybe I'm just stirring the pot and go, uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Wow. What a story. Hey, well, Us- uh, Usko does get some, uh, get some uh, business, as you can see. Magical story. healing is available. I wonder why people are interested. Yep. Can you put my inside back on my inside? Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. That's against the will can of you, Can you tell me why my parents got a divorce? No. Because uh, you're a bitch. <laughs> Have you looked at you? Here is a mirror. There's your answer. <laughs> <laughs> so how much do you charge for uh, for this anyway, Usko? Oh god, um, just normal heel checks, like uh, next to nothing, like one, two, co- like depending on what the person looks like, they have on them. At most, like five copper, 
Uh, for actual magical healing, uh, the normal price is like 25 gold for a first level spellcasting. I charge like five. Fair enough. So they're These getting a deal. The two first ones kind of look like they might have a lot of gold on them because, but you've been, you've been, they've they've been doing nothing but uh, but gambling at that table next to what you can uh, what you can now see is the guard tower. <laughs> So you uh, you uh, you presume they're not going to part with that gold that uh, willingly? Are they asking? Well, what kind of healing are they asking for? Want me to suture your wound, or they want me to use magic? They just want you to uh, to suture some wounds. Oh, one has well, a pretty nasty one by uh, by her eye. Well, could help. um, you in fact could. Uh, I I will ask five copper from each. You get five copper. For once, they're not trying to haggle. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, while I wait for my soup for my goulash to cook, I'm gonna help him with his stuff. Uh, you, in fact, do not piss off your doctor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes. I have nothing else to do. I'm may and I'm still a doctor. I may as yeah. well help. Meanwhile, permafrost and carbon are still taking a bath. Yep. Carbon is helping permafrost get to the hard to reach spot. Uh, spots. Yes. And permafrost is doing the same for carbon. Every once in a while, I will look at one of the patients and go, you sure you don't want a, another leg or something? <laughs> I, could, I could do that. How about a tentacle? How about wings? You look like you need wings. How about a horn? How about half a... How about two horns? <laughs> how about five? How about Honestly, we I... replace all your limbs with magical horns? <laughs> I, just... I, I want to experiment if I get the chance. Well, too bad. You're not going to get uh, to experiment on any of these. Oh. Then I, yeah, I'd, I'd just suture a wound then with, with Uzka. I also have a therapy cat, if anybody needs it. <laughs> therapy cat. <laughs> therapy cat. Well, yeah. these two get their things done and leave again. Fickle. Going back, uh, Going back to their card game. Thank you for your hand, services. I will hand five copper to Uda, since he did handle one of them. I'll uh, just... Yeah. And then this guy steps up with a very, very nasty limp. He goes, I have had this leg problem for a few months now. Could you please heal it? Take a look at the leg. Magically? Yes, please. I've see. gone to regular doctors and they can do nothing about it. Maybe it's like uh, I will. I will roll a heal check to see what is the, what the issue is. Uh, let me help you with that one. Uh, well. I, uh, well, actually, my no, that's not my heal check is still fit. <laughs> Although, uh, you can. I mean, I can't make it worse, can, right? You can, in fact, not make it worse. <laughs> you sure? <laughs> you sure? I literally rolled right. a zero. You start, you start talking about how the spleen is like in the left point. <laughs> I wonder what yep. what is. I'll just tune you out. No, no, I just. Okay, let's have a look at that leg. Open your mouth. No, your other mouth. <laughs> yep. So, did you already roll, Busco? No. Uh, I can't act for myself. Uh, Fourteen. Yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty clear to see this guy's one uh, hind leg is completely mangled. The hoof is, uh, <laughs> looks like it was split down the middle, and the worst part of it w uh, was removed. That is not something that's going to heal naturally or with regular medical help. It does need magic. So it, it looks like a broken bone, basically? Basically. Broken and re uh, broken and healed very badly. Oh, this is going to suck to be this guy. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> I will hand him a wooden block to bite down on. He will take it, stoically. Well, not so stoically. He's been limping for a while. He's pretty worn down. But he will so take it. The issue is that you had broken a bone and it healed improperly and out of place. So what I'm going to do is essentially break your leg, reset it, and then properly heal it. <laughs> he nods do... wearily and, do... sit, uh, and sits, uh, sits himself down properly so he can grab onto something so he won't, you know, flail around and stuff. Now, I would say that this won't hurt a bit, but that'd be blatantly lying. But I will say that I will perform as quickly as possible. And I'm really there. sorry for the screaming. I'm really <laughs> sorry for what is about to happen next. Actually, before you do that, wait, wait. I'm going to stop you. I'm going to stop you before you do it. And hand the guy 
a glass of absinthe. Nice. Uh, good idea. Just give it to um, him. There you go. I He's got free of charge. I will then... <laughs> good idea. Uh, I will then find the uh, bend, the uh, it, where the bone exactly, br- the original break. I will brace that. I'll essentially put my take my morning star and like lay the handle over it <laughs> so I have a brace to properly break it. Oh jeez. So I won't so I don't end up like breaking further up or down the bone. Make sure I'm breaking in the right place. I'm not yep. gonna lie, I I'll... I kinda want you to roll for that and roll a one and break his other leg instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh that'd be terrible. <laughs> well three more tries. Bang. You just end up oh, again. No. no you just end up smashing oh. both his legs. And then I uh, You end up smashing him in the head. face. <laughs> you just, you straight up. <laughs> well, no more pain. You straight up kill him instead. No more pain. You have a moment no of PSD, only PTSD dreams. from the war, and you just you take his head and you just snap it. God. Uh, well, so yeah, I'll then break the leg, uh, reset it properly, then apply as many uh, applications of cure light wounds as needed. The procedure is excruciating, and though he, uh, he tries his best to uh, to keep himself composed, he uh, he screams past the uh, past uh, the piece of wood in his mouth, biting down on it hard. At the end of it, there are te- uh, there are teeth marks in uh, in the wood, almost going uh, uh, going completely through it. Well, the good news is it should be fully healed now. Yep. Okay, here's what we got. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. After that's finished, I'm gonna go up to him and say, "There, there. See, all good now." And I'm gonna give him a piece of red leg, shaped like a lollipop. God damn it! Aww. There you go. Uh, you fucker. Uh, <laughs> I don't have actual candy on me. Bastard. So I will then wrap the dude's leg up in a splint in case that something didn't take entirely properly because working with broken bones and yeah. Cure spells doesn't always work the best. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm I'll gonna then... give him. I'm gonna give him two plates of goulash. <laughs> I will split his leg and tell him to stay off of it for. I'll tell him to stay off of it for three weeks. You know, forever. do stretches, oh, forever. And shit, and atrophy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Mm-hmm. He's going to take your advice and thank you sincerely and ask you how much uh, how much he owes you. Five gold. He gives you fifteen. Holy shit. I, he, is, he is very happy to be able to walk again, even though this I was give, excruciating. I give him back ten gold. I only asked for five. I'm uh, not gonna... he, just, oh. and he just looks at you and goes, please take it. This has been... <laughs> if... I have been plagued by this leg for so long. <laughs> please take it. The guards will trace and it back to me anyway. Five gold, and you paid five gold to have it fixed. I shrug. You can always pay for the goulash if you really wanna. <laughs> One gold. Uh, you banned it. <laughs> uh, Have you? D- okay, wait, no. I'm gonna fill a plate for Usko and hand it to him. You tell me that's not worth one gold. <laughs> uh, it's worth, I'd say, seven silver. You dirty fuck. <laughs> <laughs> And the guard just kind of shakes his head. He's still a little shaken. He takes uh, he takes five of his gold back and uh, still wants to try and give you at least five uh, more than he uh, than he was asked. Yes. <laughs> well, Meanwhile, suppose... permafrost is still bathing. Okay, wait, wait. Okay, let let me try something. Let me try something. I'm gonna take the five gold, and as he's about to leave, I'm gonna try to put it back in his pocket. Slide of, woman. With sleight of hand. Hammer woman. <laughs> what? I, I will then pencil. Never mind. Him, I will then pencil him in for a uh, session with therapy cat. Door. Hand him. I, I totally. F- I put the gold in my pocket instead. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you sure. accidentally put the gold in Usko's pocket. Yeah, that works too. <laughs> All right then. Um. Looks like you need a session with therapy cat. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to, I think. For fuck's sake. So anyway. Therapy cat is five gold of a five gold a session. <laughs> he, uh, he smiles and gives a small uh, a small chuckle and and, uh, and goes, That sounds uh, that sounds good enough for me. Goes over, and he, pet, goes over and he pets the cat. 
Therabi, uh, Therabi cat purrs, <coughs> rubs against him, and then he uh, and then he walks off, not putting any pressure on his uh, on his newly healed leg. Oh, I thought Therapy cat just walks off, like a cat <laughs> just doesn't care. Fucking cats. I, I will then look at charcoal. Wonder why he was standing in line. Is there a reason you are standing in line, charcoal? Are you injured? Well, not really. I th- there is a few things I would like to talk about, though. Do you want some goulash? I'm Perhaps holding later. Up, holding up a large plate, grinning. Yeah. Oh wow! <laughs> I actually expected you to be standing in line for a plate of food. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> still though, do you want a plate? We would have made far too much. In, in a little bit. Well, um, I take it you had more serious business to discuss? Uh, yes. Uh, you see, I, I'm not sure if I should keep, uh, courage. Courage looks down at you and starts trembling massively, his pupils going tiny. No, okay. no, no. I, I quickly, uh, or I, uh, quickly cradle courage, like, no, 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 no. Re- relax, relax, relax. Courage clings to you and goes, no! Ah, oh, he doesn't want to go to this kennel. I will look at charcoal gray and wait between bites of goulash. It's just, well, you know me, I'm, I'm clumsy and, well, those rats were nearly as big as courage and, well, I barely even stepped on a few of them and they, and they just fell apart. So, Aww. what do you want, um, the armor for your cat? You do realize that if you stepped on me, I would also fairly rapidly fall apart. Same here. I, how many foals have you stepped on, for example? Um, how many other small things have you stepped on by accident? I doubt that the number very that the number is very large. <laughs> I've never seen you move quickly or recklessly, except out, except in a well, whatever. I'm not sure I'd really call that a fight when I see. What I see you do more is it is voracious murder, but, <laughs> but, point aside, I do not see you in the future accidentally harming your cat. Courage points rapidly and and furiously at Usko, looking up at Charcoal, going, Precocious. And I the dogs. The precociousness of these felines is rather disturbing. <laughs> Mew purrs loudly next to Usko. Yeah, it's just that courage is one of the um, thing is one of the only uh friends. well I su- I suppose friends might be one of the better or closer friends might be one of the better words that I've ever actually had and I so courage is my lover <laughs> <laughs> courage comes down his frantic movements and looks huge eyed up a charcoal and then snuggles closer to him purring yeah oh <laughs> nom 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 Lim, lim, lim. Yeah, basically out of character, I'm tired of charcoal just being the big, dumb, punchy thing. So I'm trying to give him emotional depth. Yeah, role-playing, <laughs> I get it. Continue yeah. onward. Stop role-playing! Uh, what? Don't I like role-playing. Play. Rather, English, yes. whatever. Well, I mean, yeah, I, I want to role-play some. Well, I know, it's almost like this it. is the game. It's, it's almost like this is a role-playing game. Yeah. Oh, oh, right! About winning and min maxing your characters, I thought. Damn it, I did it. Talk, talk, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, so. 
just uh, thank you for that. I I was I was getting a bit worried. I'll 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 be sure to be extra careful. The sky is blue. Water's wet. Um, you aren't going to accidentally step on something. <laughs> uh, do you need any more information of the obvious? I. Um, I don't mean to sound rude, but I never was really worried about courage. It's just I've hurt people a lot worse than I've meant to in the past. Well, that happens, but I don't see you trying to attack your cat. Kurt climbs up to your face and starts licking your ear. Blum, 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 I'm blum. getting attacked! Ah! Blum, blum, blum. <laughs> Fucking crazy shit likes the cat. Yeah, it just goes crazy and hits the cat. <laughs> yeah. So yes. Now would oh, you no. like? Some... He just walks away. Yeah. <laughs> he apparently would not like some goulash. Yeah. Well, fuck. Fine then. All right. Yeah. Yes. And starve. Yes. I'll put some in the so, fridge yes, for you. So well, yes. Anyway. Farmer Frost is still taking a bath. With yep. uh, carbon. Oh yes, uh, carbon. Yes. I don't think I ever really thanked you for uh, what you did back there earlier. Oh, don't worry about it. I expect I'm going to be saving your ass a lot of times in the future, too. He pats you up, uh, your head. You know. Are I we still have plenty of. of uh, Has he seen? Ma- I still do have plenty of my, of my magic left for the day. God. You How know, we- I was. <laughs> Cut away! He halts for a moment, then he flutters out of the out of the bath and onto uh, onto uh, onto the bed, drying himself off. Oh, I don't the... think it's a good idea. <laughs> Why not? Like one of your French girls, permafrost. <laughs> <laughs> well, first of all, that's uh, first of all that's the point. Of, uh, that's the entire uh, thing with us being very very different sizes. Oh, that's what the that... magic is. That's what the magic is there to fix. One day it's going to go wrong, girl. <laughs> and then there's, and then secondly, well, I haven't really had the best of luck with relationships. Well, perhaps we could change that for you. But, but Carmen, it's yeah, not about a really relationship. To... It's just there. about sex. <laughs> <laughs> well. I don't really want to, uh, want to make a gamble on that. Right now, my life is going great. I'm out on the road. I'm having fun. I'm doing what I actually want to do. I'm. Oh. I'm afraid yeah. that getting these kinds of emotions involved <laughs> is going to be difficult. Oh, thanks. All these terrifying I... emotions will make it hard for me to kill. <laughs> I suppose that's all right then. She does look a little disappointed. Besides, I think you'd be better off with someone who doesn't want to live his life on the road. And yeah, let's face sorry. it, you're a bit too frigid for me. Go. <laughs> <laughs> all right, kid. Come on now. Silent coyote time. <laughs> Barbara Frost is gonna get out of the bath. I suppose I'm going to go and uh, get some sort of food now that's nice and clean. She can't uh, join me, Carbon. I would love to. You flood to server and lands on your head, patting your forehead slightly. I'm sorry about these. No, no, it's it's all right. I suppose I could. Because the yeah the si- the whole size thing is a little much and magic can't fix all of my problems it seems. Nope. I could always cast unseen servant. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it, Hound! I already could do that twice a day. Just right. <laughs> You're insatiable, woman. <laughs> Just get a wand, <laughs> like a vibrating wand. Anyways, 
Uh, so, I wanted to go talk with Mama Makahava. Right. She is Woo! having the time of her life, as always. I assume that's just, like, the, her regular life for her. Yep. Did she sell the things I gave her? Uh, what was it you gave her again? Uh, two things against the hangover thing. Right, yes, she did sell those. Good. She also kept the money for herself. Yep. And she also sold them at an inflated price. Good. She should. I made two more. I mean, I... So... Uh, Mom. Hazy Thoughts and Midi are both gonna wander into the bar. Makahaba is going to look over to Hazy Thought and give a huge grin. <clears throat> and go, ah, there you are. How was the little excursion down uh, down in that basement then? Is there, as she says, gesturing for a chair. We found the remains of uh, Softly Force. Ah, yeah. And he's going to take his regular seat to, or, yeah, they're going to take the regular seat to the, to the left of Mama Makahava. Media's going to take the seat to the right. Effectively kicking out the group once again. Yep. They're going to give you some nasty scowls. She's just going to grin. Well, yeah, that, uh, that would be the lady of the, uh, the old governor when lived here before. Incidentally, the grand, uh, the great, great grand mayor, or something of a uh, little broody and softly. As I figured. Um. She was one hell of a mayor. I tell you, she traveled all around. Very, very well studied. Uh, we also cleared up a bit of an... This is media. This, we've also cleared up a bit of an infestation problem that was down there as well. Oh, you mean the dye rats? Ah, oh, they've been living there for years. They're not really living anymore. Ah, well. I hope you brought them then. Dye rat first and, uh, and go for uh, quite a pretty penny. Uh, you can talk to Uda about that. He collected all their bodies. She grins usually. That's my that's my boy. Did you almost say that's my girl? I almost said that's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> that's my guy. That's my guy. Oh, wow. there's, there's so some... much there's so much love in this family. <laughs> there's a little too awesome much love person. going on. Oh my. I mean, I kind of, I always, I half expect her to try and, like, couple me with any of the female ones in our group. Uh, let's see here. <laughs> have you thought about grandchildren yet? Have you? <laughs> have you? We'll start. <laughs> okay, younger. Um, so, Hazy Thoughts is going to take the four vials of holy water that were in his scarf. Mm -hmm. And... Put them into the bag of holding, and then hand the bag of hold. Well, actually, then he's going to take out the the hero deck, and of the bag of holding, and then hand the bag of holding. Uh, then uh, give the bag of holding to Media. Makahaba is going to watch as the um, uh, as the bag of holding passes uh, between hooves, tilting her glasses slightly down. Now that I leave this party, let's inventory swap. <laughs> You're probably going to need this. Those vials of holy water might come in handy. And I'm sure you can do more with the with the bottles that we found in the basement. More than I can. Mama Makahaba now looks very interested. What kind of bottles would those be? What you talking about? Ah, uh, just some old wine. We ah, uh, it was just some old wine we found in the bat. We found in the bottom of the. Well, let's have a look. See then. She immediately reaches over and uh, and grabs for the bag. Oh God. Well, I mean, I'm not stopping her. So, 
Well, she Hazy, looks into Hazy's the bag. Hazy's not stopping her either. She looks into the bag. She uh, she takes out one of uh, one of the bottles. She appraises it in the best way that she can, meaning she's, that she uh, she opens it and takes a swig directly. Just gonna from drink it, it yeah. <laughs> with a uh, with a satisfied ah, she looks uh, she looks at the bottle and smacks her lips. Well, that is definitely some of the uh, some of the softly stuff. It's a pity. Uh, it's a pity our current little governor ain't doing that anymore. They used to be so good at it. You wanna, you wanna be careful I... with uh, drinking this before bedtime, though. Why? Uh, just some things about dreams, you know. Hey, Zephy. Interesting. Can I? Can I? Can Hazy Thoughts detect magic on the bottle? Or on the on the wine, or yeah, detect magic on the wine. Well, you can go ahead and try. Okay, I I'm casting detect magic. Right, he detects nothing. Okay. Hey, hey, Zephy. Yeah. You you know we're yes. in a swamp, right? What do you think that right. wine is made out of? Can you find that out? <laughs> oh, I don't probably think it, like. I don't think it's grapes. <laughs> yes, it might just be more rats. Um, <laughs> absolute only only rats. Only the can best I, rats. Can I make an? Can I make another appraisal? Actually, hold on. Let me see. <laughs> I'm actually pretty sure that would be knowledge local or something. Um. Well, I can mean I can make an appraisal. Yeah. Uh, actually, can I make a craft to discern the ingredients? Yes, that you could. Ooh, nice idea. Oh, you could you could also make a. Um, uh, I think you said profession before, but yeah, my profession's profession. not that high. Craft I'd, I'd rather take profession. my craft since it's plus seven. <laughs> yeah. Going into wine tasting, which is a myth, <laughs> by the way. Uh, nineteen. Yeah, you uh, you can you can definitely discern that it is not made out of grapes. As you taste it, you feel the. Particularly fuzzy feeling, or something which was dis uh, distilled from various mushrooms and fungi. This is definitely not grapes. Mushroom. What wine. gave? Uh, what ticked you off, kid? Maga uh, uh, smiles. Probably huge. the mushrooms. <laughs> probably the fact that there are no grapes in a swamp. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they're careful with drinking that before bed. <laughs> Will so, do. We're not Some of the dreams talking... are gonna be really nice and pleasant, others ain't gonna be good. I don't think you call that dreams when it happens when you eat mushrooms. <laughs> I think visions would be a better thing, or trip. <laughs> Have a nice trip, media! <laughs> the last time, the last time tried, someone tried to give me drugs, it was not fun. It was not a pleasant experience. So <laughs> no, we, you ended so up seeing did... fairies. Well... And we did end up with a new party member, but... Who was coincidentally a fairy? Yes. So, uh, technically, you didn't have a trip. You just saw what happened. Yep. More or less. That future vision. Future vision. You momentarily turned into garment. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we're all made of love. Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> How long does he take in there? It, my phone fell. I apologize. How long do you take in there? Uh, oh, talking to them? Yep. yep. Um, I mean, at this point, we're mostly just discussing kind of what we found down there and uh, sharing drinks. Well, well, most people want to know when I go in there, are you still in there? Uh, oh, probably. We're, like we're probably going to be in there for most of the night. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. okay. so... So I'm down to nine bottles of wine. Yeah. Nine bottles of wine in a bag, nine bottles of wine. Um, we're probably sharing that bottle of wine that she opened up, and we're just sharing that around the table. Yep. <sighs> so if this couple... wants to come join us on the wine, you can. A couple hours later, I will also go in there with a big... <laughs> like a big... What is the... Fuck, what is the name? Uh, a bowl full of goulash for Granny. Nice. She's gonna smell it and immediately turn. Uh, imme well, before she uh, she turns around, she's gonna go. Hey, that'll be slick. 
She turn, uh, then she turns around and goes, Still, uh, still as good a cook as I ever remember you being. I just placed a bowl in front of her. Yeah, yep. Kept she the nicest one for you. Happen. There's like there's like two whole legs of diorite in there. <laughs> she ruffles it. Uh, she ruffles your hair and goes, "That's a good boy." I left the claws on too because I like. I know you like him. Ah, yeah, melting an old woman's heart now, ain't ya? She they probably picks her teeth with it. <laughs> <laughs> no, she crunches them. God damn! Those are some good dentures. <laughs> Most of them are made of gold, as you can see. Yeah. And then I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah there's some good dentures, considering gold yeah. is rather soft. Very soft. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, take a seat here, and then take out the letters and finally start reading them. Mhm. Because I didn't want to do it in the kitchen because you know, all the fat yeah. and the oil. Yeah. Well, the let uh, they aren't really letters. They're more like notes. Okay. What do they say? They tell me you have, are... tell me you have a handout. <laughs> <laughs> I don't actually have a handout. Damn it. But I do have it written down, so I can get I can make it a handout for you for the uh, for next session. That'd be easier than I don't have to like write it down in my because mm -hmm. my sheet is kind of full. Yeah. The notes detail uh, different things and dis uh, different aspects of these things. It would seem. You can't really make out uh, make out everything of what it says, but the top one seems uh, seems to uh, seems to say sun. And then, in parentheses, the firebird. Does it look alchemy or magic related? Nope. It basically just looks like someone writing down aspects of things. There aren't any strange um, symbols in, uh, anywhere or any uh, anything written in, in other words than uh, in other languages than common. So, basically, someone just took notes of something. Yep. So, would it be a big leap to think that it's a sort of, it's part of research for someone? That would not be a very big leap at all. Hmm. Question is, what, what kind of research? Hmm. Well, I'm going to go through the letter and just look if there's anything, if there's anything I know. Anything well, would... there's definitely one thing you know. Uh? One of the uh, one of the things written down is tied in parenthesis sea hag. Ah. The attributes uh, written down are, as you can make uh, as you can make them out, vengeful and ill-tempered, keen on curses. Oh, great sea hags! Yeah. So it basically it's it's notes on spirits or something. Yep. I'm gonna cross I was about to say, them. maybe it's notes on us. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Knowledge, 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 knowledge. I have nothing. Usually, spirits and shit tends to be religion. Yeah, I don't have yep. that. But I know who does. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Is charcoal! It, it will be charcoal. And you would, also remember, <laughs> you, would, uh, you would also remember. You would. You would also remember the tales that. Uh, Brackish Waters told you of his encounters with the Sea Hag. I, oh, can you refresh my memory? That, uh, that was the spirit who cursed him. The one who's trapped on the underside of the ship you're, tra you're right, trying to raise. Right, 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 right. Because he didn't want to get the pearl back, the lazy bastard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I, I'm i going to annoy Usko with that later because I know he knows his religion. <laughs> and maybe uh, if I it, can... It, I know, it's kind of weird. But I yep. am somewhat of I'm, yeah. I am somewhat versed in uh, if religions. If I can keep him away from the little boys for a while, he can probably help me. Ugh. I'm not Catholic. <laughs> All priests are the same. No, they really aren't. Catholics are Catholics are famous in their pedophilia. Also, I'm gonna. Uh, they have a yeah, I'm putting it's the popular. I'm putting the letters away again, and I take out mm -hmm. the little golden key and throw it over to Magahaba. Just slide Did it over the table. It? She catches it. Uh, she catches it underneath her hoof and looks at it. Then smiles and looks back uh, back up at you. Oh, it's a nice little trinket, my boy. Basement key. Yeah, I know. Yep. Was underneath some ain't rats. Gonna, ain't gonna be much worth. Uh, 
Ain't gonna be worth much now, is it? Wouldn't be sure about that. Maybe someone else wants to visit the coffin and their relatives. Eh, uh, they ain't too big on, uh, on their older family. Either way, it's good luck to have a key. I heard somewhere. Maybe I made it up. Keep it. <laughs> that's a good mate. Now that's a good saying. I think I'm gonna adopt that. That's my guy. <laughs> <laughs> that's my guy. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> then I just I perk up again and say, "By the way, is there a a tanner in this town?" Uh, not as far as I can remember. Uh, no anyone who wants to... no anyone wants dye red skin. Pretty much anyone who wants a nice hat. That's a good point. I could make a nice hat. Fuck, I'm gonna ask. I could ask Bit, I think. I was gonna say, you probably could talk to Bill. Yeah. If nothing else, uh, if nothing else, I, uh, I hear Sweet Sands is good with the, uh, with the tools and whatnot. Who's the head? Sweet Sands is the town over. Okay. So we, we could wait until they get to the next town and then you could sell them. Yep. Yeah. And we might, ask, we might make a little bit more money here than we would with I'll, uh, I'll ask, crazy, I'll crazy ask, Bill. I'll ask a bit before, uh, before we do that. Just see what he would do. Well, yeah. Well, I'm going to finish my, my ale in there and then just leave. Okay. Actually, no, before I go, before I go, I will perk up and hold up two little vials say... Two anti uh, hangover things. Who wants them? You hear an uproarious laugh from uh, all around the bar, and then some already quite drunk ponies stack over to you. I never, I never get hangover, but just in case, just in case, I does this time. No way, I never get hangovers. No, you're lying. I I held your hair back just yesterday. No, that was me holding your hair back. I'm going to hold up a hoof to make them stop. <laughs> I just go, five gold each. Five uh, gold? You can easily sell them for double that. Yeah, but I'm not in the mood to haggle. I have, I have stuff to do. <laughs> I was going to give you four gold. I was going to give you six gold for both of them. Oh, screw you. I'm gonna give him seven gold for both of them. And a drink. Oh, that's not fair. I'm gonna give him like I'm gonna give him eight gold and two drinks. Nine gold and three drinks. Ten gold and five drinks. I just take the ten gold. <laughs> you can keep the drinks, friends. Well, eventually you end up walking away uh, from there with 12 gold and two bottles of wine. Common or fine wine? Wait. Common. Wait. I was going to say two more, like, two more of the same type <coughs> of wine, or? No, regular wine. wine. By yeah. the way, uh, when I made my appraisal check, did I figure out how much, like, way back in the, uh, in the house, did I figure out how much that, bo how much the, each bottle of wine was worth? Well, you do know that it's uh, that it is fine wine, so you do know it's worth quite a bit. And now you know it's fine mushroom wine, so you know that it's worth quite a bit and probably legal some places. We should keep it and have like acid trips for a couple <laughs> nights. Or or yeah. I could sell it and actually make money. I'm gonna. Um, okay. I'm. I think I'm gonna sell them. Sell like I think I'm gonna sell eight of those bottles. Keep one as to use to see if we can figure out the recipe behind it and then we might see if we can make it over at uh, the brewery okay and i get back home after all this is said and done okay anyway i'm gonna i'm gonna uh, take my two bottles place one of them in front of granny she's gonna and she's gonna just lift it up bite the cork off and well out and uh raise it to you yeah have a yeah. good one now sonny my guy <laughs> my, my guy, guy. My guy. Guy. <laughs> yeah. That's her new thing now for him. She just started it now. No, my and, guy. and that no, I'm gonna I'm gonna put my hoof on her shoulder and just share it, Grams. <laughs> and I'm gonna go outside 
and go find Usko. Nice. Usko, uh, upon seeing Permafrost walk out all the pressed and shit with uh, Carbon Copy, he will take a sign, pull out a piece of charcoal, and I'll, and then write down beneath the rest of the uh, shit on the sign. Char- uh, fuck. What was I going to say? Couples therapy. <laughs> English. <laughs> blah. I will write on the bottom of the sign relationship counselor. <laughs> I, want to, I just want to say, yeah, relationship advice. Like the I doctor, said, couples therapy. The doctor is in. <laughs> yes. Well, I will go up to Usko, since apparently Red Pony is just a figment of my imagination. All of ours. Yes. He's he's just the part of us that really wants to set everything on fire. Look, yep. he he's like those he's the voice in your head. He's like those British guards. He isn't allowed to move or make a sound. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what are we actually doing with this character? Are we just assuming he just doesn't exist? I don't, I don't know. know. Uh, is Trisk actually going to be joining us anymore? But... <laughs> I just stopped you doing it as a running joke because uh, Fish doesn't know. <laughs> oh, man. We like in the sixth sense, he's actually dead. <laughs> we're the only ones who can see him. Yep. Because we're also dead. <laughs> all of you are dead. You're actually all of you in that uh, in that cave from the previous session. That'd be, a, that'd be an awesome twist, God actually. damn it. <laughs> that'd also be kind of a weird twist. Yep. What a twist. What a twist. So anyway, relationship advice. I wanna hear uh, that. I was gonna I was gonna finish off my stuff with Mom Makahaba and Hazy Thoughts and then leave Hazy Thoughts behind. Oh. Just leave the so, fucking ghost behind. Anyways, so Hazy Thoughts is gonna look over to me and say, I'll be staying here when you guys head out. Try to keep your head on straight. Don't try to explode on Usko again. He has his reasons, though he, even if they are a little bit extreme. I'm not saying he's right, but I'm not saying he's wrong either. <laughs> There's not, two sides to every coin. I'm not saying he's right, but he is. <laughs> <laughs> yes, anyway. Hello. Let's go. And video and video will nod and then walk out. Okay. And now relationship counseling. Yeah. Have yes. Have one of you this. It's gonna be good. Yes. Oh wait, 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 wait. Before we start this, let's set the scene. Mm. Uda will get there with media. Come on, come on, media. Yep. I'm I'm watching this. No, no. We, I'm looking at Uda. I'm looking at Udia and just being like, so, so, what's going on over there? No, no. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Walk and talk then. I approach the cart, bottle in hand, see permafrost, rather sad, and immediately know, yeah, break up. Okay. <laughs> see the new, the, the, see the freshly painted relationship counseling on the sign. <laughs> grin, my stupid shit-eating grin. I'm gonna hand the bottle to permafrost. <laughs> and then I'm gonna sit down right here and eat goulash uh, while looking at them. Carbon copy is gonna give you a dirty look. Got any more of that goulash? There's, what? A giant, there's literally a filled pot of it right next to me. I'm gonna get some as well and start eating it. <laughs> not, not quite as nice as popcorn, but it will do the job. Also, Carbon Copy is going to see that uh, relationship counseling sign and he's going to sigh and face up and go, We are not an item, okay? <laughs> She's just too big for me. I do not like big bats. <laughs> and I cannot and I lie. I can lie, but, I ain't not, but not about these. <laughs> it's not about the size. It's about, t- <laughs> it's about how you use it. <laughs> if anything, I'm... if anything, Permafrost should break up with him because of the size. Who's moving oh. the card? Don't move the card. I'm, <laughs> I'm going to pretend I didn't hear that. I'm just going to look at Uda, 
look at the stuff that he just gave me. Is you know what? What are you trying to do? I'm trying to say? I think you need to get drunk. I do not think that's a good idea for her. It is the best idea. Perhaps later in the next town. I've grown quite sick of this place. <laughs> no, I know you need to be drunk. Calvin Cobby pets her head. It's a great place. Um, not a time. I'll be right back in just a couple minutes or so. My I... dog is trying to tell me something. <laughs> Literally. Yes. Uh, t- tell your dog that he's cute. And that he's a good boy. But he will think you're lying. I mean, who can tell if one is truly a good boy? <laughs> yeah, what if it's a female dog? Exactly. Hey, That's kitty. Deep. Oh, well, deep. what if one is a cat? That's deep, man. That's deep. Oh, shit. I know. What if one is a cat? Exactly. But anyway. What if he was phone? Cats can still be good boys. So, yeah, I <laughs> came down for some... What sort of galosh is that? I do believe it's rat. Um, maybe we should pass on that. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> you can hardly taste the red. You He's know what? Lying. I'm it's going to good. take a gamble on this. That sounds pretty he... good right, uh, right about now. He He's takes a lying. simple it's... full. He's not lying. It's pretty good. I am still rather hesitant as they were... As just a few moments ago, said rats were clawing at my face. That, no, that was, that was hours ago. Although I did manage to kill one of them, so <clears throat> in a way, I have man- I have provided the, uh, the meat for this meal. Well, one of the pe- pieces of meal. Meat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm still very, very hesitant over the rat, the rat galosh. You know, you don't have to eat it. You can go to bed hungry. Or you can pay for your own food at the uh, at the inn. Seriously. I suppose that is a fair point. It's better than starving. It's great goulash. <laughs> ah, very well. I shall take a small amount. I give her a big bowl. It is pretty good, actually. Give her Robin a big... says, chowing down. <laughs> I give her a big bowl of an oversized spoon. Yeah, I'll, I'll also grab some since I didn't earlier. <clears throat> you get a tiny plate and... with a tiny, tiny fork. Fuck. <laughs> no, you get a normal plate with a normal fork. I think I need a large plate with a large fork. <laughs> we only have normal forks. So, in other words, Carbon is using two tiny twigs. Okay, here's what, I, here's what I do. I look in the pot. <coughs> and what, is the, what is the word for that? Shit. Not spoon. The thing you use for soup. The big things. Ladle. 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 Yeah, I look in the pot with the ladle. And just heave it over next to charcoal. <laughs> there you go. That, that, that is good. Yeah, just fuck it. Just eat the rest. Okay. <laughs> Char- charcoal will do that. Mm, Gulash sounds good to about now. <laughs> Especially tire red gulash. Mmm, <laughs> <laughs> street meat. <laughs> there it is, rather chewy, but aside from that, it's quite delicious. I just realized we're treating this like a talk show. Yep. <laughs> I'm waiting for Carbon to start dancing to Not the Father. Okay. Oh yeah. <laughs> so yes, I am. I guess I am very slowly and hesitantly eating the goulash. Carbon keeps giving uh, giving this, uh, the sign and Usko uh, the stink eye. <laughs> and then after a while, uh, yes. And after Robert Frost hasn't even noticed the sign yet. God damn it. Then after a while, uh, he just goes, Ugh. "If you're also com- uh, if you're also completely obsessed with uh, with other ponies' dirty laundry, 
then uh, then I'm uh, then I'm happy to inform you that not, uh, absolutely nothing has happened. We have just decided that we are not going to be an item. I'll uh, kind of turn over and say, "Oh, that, that that's unfortunate." <laughs> I have a falling out. But no, that was never a falling in to begin with. Is it because you can't have children? No. Actually, Faye can't have children with whatever they choose with. Just about. Is it because of the uh, mechanics of a few things? Because those aren't as bad as you would think in some cases. Is it about uh, the size? You know there are training exercises for that. You can you do know, a lot. It's, not, even with small it's equipment. not majorly about any of those things. It's mostly about the fact that I do not love her. <gasps> oh, what does love have to do with anything in this? <laughs> <laughs> what did I okay, feels a bit I more down after, her, after he just says that out loud. Yeah. He pats so, okay, on, uh, on, uh, on the forehead. Uh, he pats her on the forehead. I am sorry. I, I like you a lot. I just do not love you. I, I suppose that's about right. Uh, shut down. <laughs> 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 Cold blooded. I'm, imi I'm imitating audience boo noises. <laughs> Carbon copy is standing there like, oh, oh, you know what? Yes, bring it on, bring it on. Give me more of that. <laughs> Damn it, that Jerry have... Springer just shows up for some reason. We don't have folding chairs to hit each other with. Damn. <laughs> I need to make some for later. Actually, uh, also, Usko would be Jerry Springer in this year, in this situation. <laughs> or like a black preacher, just imploring them to stay in the relationship for the children. <laughs> can make it work, just have to have hope. Carbon goes, you lot were the ones who wanted to know about this. And I, uh, and I do not like being antagonized for just <laughs> saying what I actually feel in my heart, or whatever I have in place for heart. You, you, no, you would have a heart. I'm not so certain. I think it's a, I think it's a, uh, a chunk of coal, you know. You would have a muscle that pumps your blood and inner fluids. I mean that is true, but my metaphorical heart might be something else. Oh well. <laughs> okay, well How about we find out? <laughs> what do I roll for knowledge on face? What was that? You cannot, you cannot vivisect the soul to see what its heart is. Also, yes, I think that's not. Yes, that is knowledge, Akana. Also, I'm just gonna smile at that comment because I know I indeed can, <laughs> and I have, and I will again. <laughs> also, knowledge, Akana, 18. I'm pretty sure I know that he has a heart somewhere. Yep, you know that he has a heart somewhere. I there. also know where it is and what to put in it to stop it, and mm -hmm. restart it. You also know that his general mo locomotion has more in common with spiders than it does ponies. Ugh. It's just the oh way my. his uh, his circular uh, his circulatory system works. Ah, that's fair. Will he get drunk from coffee too? He will get drunk from coffee, but then again, mm. anything will get him drunk. Fucking that's, look at him. That's we. <laughs> that's not how that works, but okay. <laughs> just he's so tiny. Anything that will get someone else a buzz will get him drunk. I mean, that's fair, but caffeine normally doesn't give you a buzz. Unless you're a spider. It does if you drink too much of it. it no, it does if you're a spider. Then you get fucking, you know. <laughs> anyway, Usko, help those two! They are in need of relationship advice. We are in need of... You know what? No, we are not. You are in need of advice for staying out of other people's business. No, you just... <laughs> Come on out, you striped... <laughs> you striped Cupid, and help those two. <laughs> is he still in the call? <laughs> he is. Uh, is I... <clears throat> yes, he is. <laughs> he hasn't been saying anything for a while, though. Yeah. Though this is Carter, so... True. Okay, okay, plan B is, plan B is, we put them in a boat. Oh, there, he's saying something in the chat. Uh, okay. 
Um, I, I just see a picture of a dog. Oh, no, not that chat. The Pathfinder chat. We can't, oh. Connor. In roll 20. We cannot hear you. <laughs> nope, we cannot hear you. Also, plan B... Oh, he, he's rejoining the call, I guess. Plan B is we get them in a boat and we hide underwater and sing a song about him kissing the girl or something. God damn it. I'd be the crab. I want to be the seagull. Uh, we still... Hello? No. There yes, you are. Yes, now we can hear Hey! You. Okay, I was wondering what was going on. Well, yeah, we couldn't hear you. Too loud. Too Weird loud. Shit. Weird shit was going on. Yes. Okay. Anyways, um... So, I'm not entirely sure why you're getting angry at me. You are the ones who approached the relationship counselor. <laughs> Carbon copy face hoops. <laughs> I'm... Oh. I'm so if you no, had... Now, no, I was coming over here for food. Uh, no, you did not know there was goulash until we gave it to you, and then you started sn- sticking your nose up at it. You know, you can smell goulash, you cannot smell relationship counseling. I beg to differ. I also had it on the sign. Now. You made that sign as we were sidling up here. It's, it's uh, I do sign. a lot of things on the fly. <laughs> nah. Um, if you actually wish to talk, I recommend stepping into the car so we can actually have semi-private conversation. No, we do not wish to talk. We've said our piece. Well, I mean, what is there to talk about? Exactly. Uh, there's a way to better communicate how you feel about each other than besides screaming because of the provocation of others around you. Carbon copy, I understand that you are a man of simple words, but I do not want to drag permafrost out of another wine sink because she's feeling depressed. That is... That is a fair point. She drinks a lot. (laughs) I believe it's a moment for heart to heart and not whatever you actually had in that room. And away from the jeering and peanut gallery of our companions. Now you see that I agree on. (laughs) I'm making whoop whoop noises. Dog, what are you him. doing? It won't hurt him unless I hit, uh, unless I hit his eyes. <sighs> well, I guess nothing much else to do but to step further into the tent. <sighs> and if, oh. if only to get away from the others. <laughs> We're just trying to help. Tap and sits down <laughs> t- uh, atop Permafrost's head. Now, I should note that I do have a, th- a registered therapy cat on staff, should you need one. Wait. Mew looks up, uh, looks up at Carbon, and Carbon flinches into Permafrost's hair. Where did you register her? What he's, did you he's like? He's part of the Navy. He can do what he wants. <laughs> As can media now. <laughs> what I want. So, we should begin this session by addressing the the problem at hand. Obviously, you two do not feel like you would be a good partner. You would be a good couple. Correct? That That is indeed a correct assumption. Now, do both of you feel this way? Well... Not entirely. Very well. Then, Carbon Copy, would you explain your side of the argument first, and then Permafrost, you explain your side. I would ask that neither of you interrupt the other. Well, it's really quite simple. I just do not have these feelings for her. And I have had bad experiences with relationships, so I'm not very big on them to begin with. Is that all? Well, as far as I can tell. 
that there's also the physical difference. It complicates matters quite a bit. I mean, magic can only get you so far. I was going to address the elephant room in the room in a moment, but it is a good point. And permafrost, your side. Well, Carbon, you're the first ever that I've actually been able to relate to. I th thought we had a relatively strong thing going. He gives you a weird look. Really? You're relating more to me than anybody else? Well, <coughs> I mean, I already told you most of, uh, you know, the, most of the things that I've uh, went through, and well, just really look at ever, look at everyone else. Uda's some money fleecing scoundrel that would be willing to do just about anything for a coin. No denying that. I'm gonna but I'm not much better. Media is a media is an airheaded. Air, a, a loving airhead that's... Oh, lo loving, a loving, yeah, that's important. To, <laughs> to care for, Just, you know, that that's to care for and such. And, well... Hey, I'm not an airhead. <laughs> <laughs> and, well, Usko, I mean, look at him. He's clearly incompetent at everything he touches. And he has a <laughs> stupid head. What's up, that, what's up with that baby face anyway? How old is he? Five? Give me a break. We should shave him. No offense, no offense, Usko. We should absolutely oh. shave him. <laughs> I may be team mom, but I will beat you like your daddy. <laughs> Holy shit. Anyway, yes. be that as it may, I'm still not much better than the rest of this rogue gallery. I mean, for crying out loud, girl, the first time you met me, I was trying to rob you. Well, you were doing it for survival. Also, you, were really, different... shit... also, you were really shit at it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose it is true that I was doing it for survival, but... The point still stands, I'm... Not exactly a white sheep in this uh, in this context. Oh, well, I think you mean a white knight. I'm yeah. not as much of a white knight either. You know. Yes, yes, <clears throat> I know that. I mean, nobody is perfect, girl. But the thing is, I'm pretty sure there's someone out there who's perfect for you, but I do not believe it is me. Yes. Awkward silence. Besides, first does, uh, first does not necessarily mean best. Just because I am the first one you can relate to does not mean that I'm going to be the one you can relate to for the rest of your life. Well... I mean, I do suppose that could be true, but... And... Okay, I want, I want to let you in on, on why my previous relationships have not gone so good. At a certain point, all the, uh, all the mares I've been together with tend to grow frustrated with me. I am not so good with the whole feeling and emotion thing. You do so well with me, though. Well, I, honest, I honestly, I don't know why it's going well with you. I have this theory that you're just not used to someone being nice to you at all, so you're willing to look past all the badness. Well, I mean, I suppose anything could 
you, th- you could be right about that, but at the same point, there's no, we don't really know whether or not that's true. That is a good point, but still, I am just yeah. not good as cold friend material. And to be quite uh, frank, I just, I am so sick and tired of seeing all the mess I know ending up in a blabbing, sobbing uh, pile on the floor. Well, you should stop hitting him them so much. <laughs> Damn. Permafrost says nothing. I mean, as you can clearly tell, I'm not handling this particularly delicately. No, I feel like you've done relatively well so far. Oh, good. For once in my life, I have not destroyed a, uh, destroyed a, uh, a mare completely. <laughs> no, Perhaps no. it is time I cut in on that wonderful note. If I would offer, if you would allow me to offer an observation and some advice. Holy shit, guys, you've known each other for like a week. You've had a, a romantic made up. Makeup, uh, an intense romance, and then a chilling breakup, and about six days' time. Go on a fucking date. Have a talk. Go on a walk. <laughs> good lord. You see, this is a good point of why I do not date. Now get out of my office. That'll be five thousand gold. <laughs> take it slowly. Good gods. But what if I don't want to take it slowly? What if I don't want to take it at all? Well, then go. Then you don't have to. <laughs> you will but take it, it and you will like, like it. You are rushing to, both you, especially Permafrost, if I must be honest, are rushing to a very large amount of conclusions. <laughs> Wait, I'm rushing? The yes! Yes! You are rushing! Have dinner together! I mean, really, Permafrost, you don't start macking on someone when they're in a sick bed. How do you know this? Carbon copy is not the <laughs> How would you know this? Yeah. <laughs> How do you find... Oh, everyone can see that part of the relationship. Uh, literally everyone saw when you were in the sleeping in the same bed as Carbon Copy. Not to mention I might, uh, I might or might not have been very extraordinarily happy when I got out of that hospital bed. Uh, yes, he had the, he had the fresh look of fucked. All over his <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Uh, pardon me. We did not go that far, thank you very much. That is very true. <laughs> then you obviously get far more excited about most things than we ponies do. Look, I have not dated for, uh, for roughly... Mm, let's see, this Wednesday it's going to be uh, five years. I have literally not been touched by a man in so long. That's wonderful. Anyways. <laughs> That's good to know. It's not the point. Either... <laughs> My advice is to either de- agree to end things right now and have a civil conversation and spend some time away from each other. That means carbon copy, stop writing around permafrost's hair, and permafrost, stop having carbon copy right around in your hair, and B... Or option B, uh, go on a normal date, have a dinner together, go on a walk, see a performance. Have you I'm seen us? Sure not exactly normal. I'm not so sure that is going. That there's going to be much time for stuff like that. I mean, we are yes, on I'm some kind of budget sure issue. That we, yeah, pretty sure we're not exactly. Don't exactly have the time for that. We're not very eligible for. Date time right now. We are travelers, and we oh, we do spend nights. If you really need to, you can just take some time for yourselves. Be stocking, supplying. We, the rest of us, would be more than happy to spend a day not on the road. 
Well, for as long as I have, uh, for as long as I have traveled with you guys, every single place you go to, there's someone who needs saving or something that needs being done or something, or a murder being committed or undead in the closet. But I do, I do have to agree with uh, Carbon here that I've seen that quite a bit around. We did now, find a literal a... undead in the literal closet. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Yes, we did. Uh, now, if more world and ending doing fine, thank you. secret cult comes up, just let us handle it. Uh, All right. I don't. I don't want to be taken out of the uh, out of the picture. Not being also, taken I out. don't suppose. I don't believe that to be the most wise of decisions. If we split up oh, the party yeah. in a uh, in a situation, well, like any of the All ones right. we've All been right. through. Across, I'm going to be brutally blunt with you. You've solved almost every issue that we've come across without you, because you've either been crying in a corner, <laughs> pissed drunk, or needing a bath. Hey, don't you talk to permafrost that way. And I've done plenty enough to help. Just because you don't know, just because you're a little busy to notice, doesn't mean that I'm not helping in some way. Uh, sorry, I gotta go. Oh. Aww. Oh. All right. Uh, you can. You no longer have to be around to watch me be a terrible relationship counselor. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> we'll tell. We'll tell him all later. But my point. The point aside. You are not lacking for chances. We are willing to cooperate if you need some time for yourselves. Hmm. Well, if nothing is, it's a very, it's a very sweet sentiment. That it is. So really, next time we come to a town, so for now, spend some time apart from one another. The next time you come to a town with your thoughts and your thoughts and emotions together, you can decide if you want to go out, out and enjoy yourselves. When we're in a more hospitable part of civilization, of course. Carbon Copy looks down at permafrost and he sighs. Well, I suppose there's nothing else doing about it. Yes. And of course, if you decide, if you both decide that for, it is for the best that you are, do not become an item, then that is a conversation for, for the two of you when you're more collected. I suppose you're right. It does seem like it. Well, thank you, Rusko. I know I don't really say that too often, especially after all you've done for me today. It's fun. I suppose I'll have to find some way to pay you back. <laughs> I think nothing of it. I leave the wagon. Immediately goes after the therapist. <laughs> carbon cop <sighs> uh, carbon copy is left uh, left behind, and fluttering, staying away from you, who's giving him very interested looks. Going. Okay. Well, I suppose I'm going to say thank you as well. So, thank you, as well. If you wish, it is simply my job to. Is simply my divine duty to help those in need. He flutters out and apparently immediately gets accosted by you. No, you is waiting in line. <laughs> <laughs> you goes in, you need mental help. <laughs> Come and quickly flutters, flutters over and lands on Media's head. I, Media, there. you are my new steed. Oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> now that's 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 quite all right. Well, yours... feel free to make feel free to make your home in my hat. Just don't take anything out of there. Oh man, you're don't worry. Fall... I wouldn't take any of your dandruff if I you're... if you ask me to. You're his fallback girl. Oh, that's not good. <laughs> I I hate to have to I hate to have to smush you like I did those rats. <laughs> he flies off taking your hat with him. <laughs> <laughs> he stole your hat and your hat. No, wait. I need that hat. It has stuff in there. <laughs> My mouse hackers. <laughs> so long, hackers. Look, I'm expecting. Eyes off, to be the laughing maniacally. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> then oh, they, step. then, then oh, they just make out, out somewhere. Cart and wonder what the. They're fuck they're really just playing the long game. <laughs> 
hat. <laughs> yes. Carbon, yes, Carbon and the hat are just making out. Yep. No, I meant Carbon and Permafrost. They're just playing the long game now, trying to trick us all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, once Usko comes out of the wagon again, looking shell-shocked, I guess. Yep. I'm gonna Usko go over really there. Wishes. I'm gonna go Usko over there. Usko really wishes he could get, like, one relaxing day. Like, maybe a bubble bath or something. Scented candles. I mean, <laughs> you can. Anyway, I'm gonna go over there with the letters. Just whip them out. Give it to them. Give it to him. Um, I mean, you can oh, you can this... always ask Uda for bath salts. I wouldn't ask Uta for fucking anything. No, he um, can make them. He can, I can make actually, them. Actually, yeah. You could use them in bath. You can snort I them. I don't mind. Trust I don't care. Anything alchemical that Uta gave me. Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> turns out it's actually it's actually turns all water into acid. This is yeah, but, why. But the Anyways. good kind of acid. <laughs> this is why. Anyways. What is this? Yeah. I'm going to point to the things. I'm going to point to the tide pearl and say, this all looks tide. very... The tide, yeah. This all looks very religious to me. Could you take a closer look here? Tell me if you can you know, see anything that you know. No, it's a, it's a tide pearl. T-H-A-I. Taiwanese. Also, uh, yeah. you, you meanwhile, is just taking all of the therapy cat. <laughs> In a, uh, in a few I, months, you're going to have uh, you're going to have therapy kittens. Yay! We can sell them. <laughs> That's really creepy. Which ba which boggles everybody's mind seeing uh, see uh, minds seeing as both uh, Mew and you are male. Well, uh, we we're not sure what you is. I wouldn't judge. That is true. Yes. Well, there is a fetish for that. Look, yep. they're making it work. And hey, if our, if uh, Schwarzenegger did it in that one movie. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Anyway. Move. I'll give him the letters. Say he has your you religion shit, whatever. <sighs> just just rub, on, rub them on a little boy, see what come, what comes out. You know, <sighs> the usual thing. No, I'm literally I'm handing the letter. I'm asking him if he can, like, recognize any of the things there from a religious standpoint. I, religious standpoint. Um, if you need someone, if you, I understand that I'm more educated than you are, Uda. Just say that you want me to look through the letters. Fuck's sake. Okay. Religious standpoint is ridiculous to say. Also, they're still not letters. They're notes. No, it's okay. <laughs> I'll take the notes, walk into the card, so I have a comfortable place to sit. I, you know, I could be even more of an asshole. I could just go to you. Hey, hey, Usko, you read more fiction than me. Can you look at these? Ugh. I, I will kick the cats out of the cabin. <laughs> oh, that no! Is not <gasps> Literally kick them out. Get the fuck out. I have work to do. Mew gives you a heartbroken look. Yes. No. You's probably just gonna land on the ground with a metallic thud. Well, <laughs> not walk with off with no. nothing wrong no, with him he except for some reason he's dragging off. his head on the ground, sideways. Well, you do the kitty scoop, like you go, like you take one hand, put it on the belly, put it over. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Cat scoop. Cat scoop. Uh, and then I will be reading through the notes. They're all right. unlike common, right? Yeah. yeah. They are uncommon, yes. Uh, no, they're all in elfin. Because who here reads any common? I mean, really. <laughs> common, motherfucker. Do you look, speak it? Looking over no, I do not. Do you not remember Brilliant But Prism? does he look like a bitch? Yeah, uh, he does. You look like a bitch? Anyway. Just like Uda, the first, uh, the first one you see is the word sun underlined. And then in parentheses, the firebird. No, what was what was this letter? I I may have, I must have missed whatever the deal with this letter. It's Is not it... a letter. It's notes. Okay, are these the notes that we picked up from the basement? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I got really confused when we were talking about it earlier, but I didn't question it because I 
I figured oh it'd God. just be explained again. So. Obviously, keep, I'm using keep guidance. Keep drinking your acid vine. I have uh, something... Griffin? Hmm? What did he I, say? I rolled a 13. 13 for, for what? Knowledge religion. To, right. identify the, to identify that version of Jeebus. Right. Well, you know that it isn't a version of Jeebus. It is actually... It is actually one of uh, one of the spirits you're looking for, but you don't know anything else aside from that. Hmm. I need to spend some time in the library, or I... with further sources of material. <laughs> Wait, I look around. I look around outside the car and go, "Yeah, library. That shouldn't be any problem in a place like this. I'm sure." <laughs> what? It's a huge uh, tree. It just sank. <laughs> yes, obviously. Because I wouldn't be pointing that out as a problem. If there was a library, I of course would still point that out and say that I would need to go to the library. Wouldn't we I, go, Uda? We just go to the pirate library. Art the library. No, uh. art is the pirate. <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible. Anyways, it's, it's one of the uh, it's one of the venerated spirits of. Wherever the fuck we are. Galapagos Islands. <laughs> Took me a second. Can it's one of the rename... spirits venerated in Galapagos Islands. And in fact, what we're looking for... One of the MacGuffins. <laughs> <laughs> you also see the traits written down from, uh, for the sun slash firebird. It says, kind and warm, but temperamental. Wonderful. And strangely enough, another uh, another, uh, another note says, needs a host. I'll be the host. I'm kind, warm, and temperamental. <sighs> no. Just just no. All right. Clearly the host should be one of the cats. <laughs> I wonder what form of host it means. Uh, probably a person. Oh, you'd be surprised. Maybe an oven or something. I'm still gonna get Clearly it's talking person. about the cats. Clearly. As I was saying. I would need further sources of information, although I still haven't gone through my own journal. I haven't gone through my own memoirs yet, and I still need to fix up the books that Permafrost had. Because of our druid. Maybe there's something in the books about it. Hopefully. Well, to be, to be fair, those all look like... I'm pointed at, they look like research notes of some kind. Like someone yes. was looking them up and just putting them down, so... There, there wasn't much... Also, for of... sake of convenience, I put the druid back in the in the boat with the zebra lady. <laughs> oh, God, no! Why? The poor zebra lady. <laughs> you need no. to go somewhere. I told you to leave me alone. She throws him <laughs> overboard. We fight. Fish comes back with his character brutally murdered. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Does that in. I will need some time to do some. She breaks all of his legs and then throws him overboard. Ah, uh, that might require uh, checks of some sort. Let's not break his legs. By which I mean, I take I take control away from Dan. Good idea. Anyway. So yeah, research papers. What do we do about the books? What, what, is, what is smoking, buddy? Uh, I'm going to need some time to read the books. Yep. Right. Some peace and quiet. The fuck? What is that sound? <laughs> Media's just making weird noises. Yeah. Yeah. I, think <laughs> I think that's you. I think that's yeah, okay. I think that's my phone making weird noises. I'll see if no, I can get it to stop. You yeah, I was gonna... making those weird noises. I'm gonna pretend it's you, the cat. Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> that, that's the that's the sound he makes when he's sad. <laughs> <laughs> also, when he shuts down for the night. I mean, goes to sleep <laughs> like the totally non robot he cat up, he is. When he wakes up again, he goes. Bum, ba, dum, bum. Yeah, he makes the window sound. <laughs> Here, let me see if I can fix it. Da, 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 da. Anyway. Alright, well, I just leave the notes with him then. And then take my 
uh, dried dire red skins and fold them up and go down to a uh, bill a uh, bit. Therapy wasn't unnecessary, thank you very much. Fish? <laughs> Look, they paid a lot of money for this. It wasn't unnecessary. Exactly. Oh my god, the red <laughs> is alive. It's hilarious because you think I actually paid money. <laughs> well, oh, the red will. is alive and now in a cage. Yay, hmm. he didn't kill it. Also, Fish, he got thrown off a boat. Yeah. Again. See, Fish? The red survived. Anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. Just <coughs> wave at him from above. He grins up at you and goes, "Hey, welcome back. What can I do you for this time, eh?" I show him one of the. I, I just show him the diorite skins. I have some skins here. I don't know if there's a tenor around. Do you want them? Ah, oh, interesting, interesting. Um, I'll give you seven silver for each skin. I don't know, man. I can probably get more in the next town over. I don't know about that. They most, uh, they're mostly about candy making. Not so sure they'd take skins. Ooh, candy. Fuck them bitches. You can trade for candy. It's seven silver or nothing. I didn't hear a thing, Connor. What? Well, fuck them. Well, fuck this bitch. You can trade for candy. Well, fuck this bitch. You can take. Uh, you can trade for candy. That's what I we could. Heard. I could. Uda gets the same idea at that moment. Just. I could just trade them for candy, though. <laughs> well, what do you like? Why do you want candy when you can get, you know, hot cold cash to buy candy with? Cause it's candy. Yeah, but it's candy instead of cash. Come on, cash. You want cash, don't you? Everybody wants cash. Actually, I want candy more. Well, you're a weirdo, ain't you? <laughs> now I really want candy. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not like I can tell you what to do with your uh, with your uh, with your money, except give it to me. Come on. <laughs> nah, I'm gonna trade them for candy. Sorry for sorry for bothering you. Can I go back? <sighs> you have a nice day now. <laughs> He really shouldn't have mentioned candy. <laughs> he really shouldn't have. <laughs> candy. <laughs> we will just go back to the wagon, just mumbling candy, 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 <laughs> candy, candy, candy. He likes candy. Who doesn't? Indeed, he does. Um, since no one else seems to be bothering Usko for the rest of the day, uh, he will begin reading through the memoirs. Nice. His own? No, the ones that. Oh, yes. The ones that he picked up from the basement. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he forgot his own past or something. As he uh, as he reached through them, he uh, he discerns that they are by the husband <laughs> of uh, Softly Force, Lady Softly Force. So this is by Lord Softly Force. Loads and ladies. Loads and ladies. <laughs> and it seems like Lord Softy Force had quite the adventures when he uh, when he was alive. Oh. These uh, these memoirs are all extremely old. As a matter of fact, the, uh, the date in the uh, in the beginning of them dates them to before the Galapagos Islands were um, uh, colonized. By Equestria. Rose from the ocean. Oh my. So uh, these are a bit old. These are definitely a bit old, which also makes the, makes it a bit difficult to read them. So it's all ye oldie English? In ye oldie common. Ugh, terrible. <laughs> Wonderful. I will take my time. I have, I have uh, a bunch of ranks. By bunch, I mean two. Yeah. Mass mm -hmm. or mass or linguistic. Just every once in a while sniggering at a word that means something completely different and lewd now. <laughs> Since the memoirs uh, are so <clears throat> are so long, <coughs> you uh, you only get time to read one for today. 
the one you pick oh. out, uh, the, uh, you pick out, seems to be an encounter with the spirit of shadows. It details a long and arduous journey to find this elusive and shy spirit. It also details running into many of uh, an accident and weird happenstance. And once, uh, and once this, uh, the spirit of shadows is finally met, turns out this uh, this spirit has been causing all of these accidents and happenstances. Though sh uh, though shy at first, it seemed to warm up to uh, uh, Lord Softly Force. He had uh, it even uh, it even details a conversation he had with it, and although its um, speech was difficult to discern at times. And its uh, and its verbal patterns are quite confusing. He managed to figure out that it is a lonesome spirit who doesn't seem to like the other spirits. It also seems quite malicious at times. Hmm. Is there any mentioning of a host like with the fire spirit? Nope, there is no mention of a host for this one. Noted. Although it is described physically as a shadowy being with glowing blue eyes, it seemed to constantly shift its shape. I will take out separate parchment and make note of all the uh, important traits of the uh, spirit of shadow. Nice. For easier reference in the future. Don't worry, I'll be writing them down for all of you in a handout for the next for the next session. So I won't have to try and page through a memoir and ye olde English. Such ye dark. Ye question. Such dark, ye very shadow. Christian. Such ye dark, very dark. shadow. Wow. Ugh. It like could, that. actually. It could, <laughs> Doge, if it wanted to. <laughs> That's why it's so hard to read. It's all Doge. It's how it's they wrote dark. back then. <laughs> so much. Well, maybe um, that's just how the, uh, the spirit of shadows talked. <laughs> and that's why it was difficult. I am essentially making flashcards. It's when no one took it seriously. It was nice. A weird thing. That'd be great if we summon a demon and he talks all in Doge. <laughs> we summon the Doge demon. The Dogeman. <laughs> you know, if you, if you want to tell media, she can probably write a letter to Misery to ask uh, Misery. Did you, you know, tell us knows. what she really was, by the way? Yes, yeah. Usko knows. That's why we had that fight. Yep. All right. Uh, Look, I don't remember. Oh, my God. Um, if anybody knows that Misery is a banshee, she is so fucked. Everybody knows that Misery is a banshee. Yeah, how do we do? She's so fucked. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Well then. Well then, indeed. That I got, is. I got nothing else to do. Yep. And that was all Usko could get from that one uh, book. Um. Now my question I... is to you: Would y'all like to get out of Alicobe? I mean, I, like I really. Oh like hell it yes! Got... I mean, I really love it here. There's two characters here. There's some great characters like Mama Makahaba. I'd really uh, ra rather not leave. Uh, uh, but, 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 sure, why not? But, candy in the next town. <laughs> I yeah, don't know I'm never, I definitely want to leave. You should probably I... talk to each other about that, though. As night falls and the skies grow dark and uh, the fires in, uh, in the fucking torches uh, turn on, get turned on, whatever, someone talks to them very, uh, very softly. And caress them slightly. They get turned on. <laughs> God damn it. Look, it happens. <laughs> and next anyway. morning, next morning he just shares a bit too much and, you know, brushes his teeth <laughs> in front of them and uh, get turned <laughs> off. Just too much. Yeah, I don't want that. I want that kind of relationship. The night turns dark and cold and uh, ponies start going home from, uh, for, well, not really home. They start going to uh, two <laughs> other taverns for the night. Ba -ba -da -ba. 
I will read by candlelight for a few hours into the night. Yeah. And fish needs to and... work. Bye, fish. Oh. Bye, fish. No, fish. Also, I'm going I... to take um, control away, uh, control of hazy thought away from uh, from you, Zephy, if that's okay. That that's fine. You, yeah, he is a... now an MP. He she's is now an all... NPC. She's always been an NPC. Anyways, she's his own Shut NPC. Up. He's his own NPC. He's strong and independent. Yep. I will read for a few hours into the night, finishing my notes, half, and I will then go to sleep. Sleepy beeps. Nice. And before I go to sleep, I will then ponder the I yes. ponder the thought I'm, of I'm currently when... in in my room. Te- yes, just eating the eating uh, whatever galosh is left, like <laughs> rarity eating ice cream. <laughs> Oh, nom, nom. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. <laughs> <laughs> and before I go to bed, I will take a short while to meditate on the uh, accusations accusations given to me by media before going to bed. Therapy cat, are you pondering what I'm pondering? <laughs> That's a no then. Good. Well, i just going to sleep too. Do we get, like... Roleplay XP, so we can finally level up. Yes, you all get 200 roleplay XP. Oh my god, finally! Huzzah! Someone level... post the XP total. Uh, hold on a sec. It's hold that... on. I I had it in my head, and now I've lost it. Uda has it. Stinky. Yep, that much. Uh, what's for next level? Because uh, 9,000. Thank you. So by the time we are level 4, we will be over 9,000 EXP. <laughs> well, we get a second feed, and I know what I take. See. Yep, Urbana gets second feed. Feed improved initiative. There we go. Well, so I much? think I get... Actually, I get two feeds, I think? Let's you see might. what I get. Uh... So... I wanted to bring this up the day the day afterwards because I, I just decided that Usko didn't think of this until the the next day. But at what point did Usko ever try to get the entire family killed? Yeah, that's uh, I, something I've been wondering I, too. I, I'm really wondering where the fuck you came up with this, Seffi. <laughs> He's just uh, remembering it differently. Well, you did nothing to try and help them at all. I, you didn't I, even you I didn't did even exact... ask them about their you didn't even ask them about their side of the story. Uh yeah, neither did you. You were there. I brought you along since the very beginning and you were an equal part of the investigation team as I was. True. At any point you could have told Usko to stop, asked them for their side of the story, and you didn't. <laughs> Uh, this is why Usko was so floored when you came when you called him a murderer. God damn it! I can't find the. Um... Although you, you did want to, you did want to murder more poor skull skull cult. I, I yes, but I managed to with I managed to hold myself in check. I I have I was within my. Oh, entirely within my right as both an investigator and cleric to murder him or to kill him really where he stood smite is the proper word I smite mean, him where he stood and said he went to get the guard as far as i'm as far as usko was concerned he kind of overstepped uh, his allowance for his own religion in order to give skullcult a chance I mean, honestly, all I remember is that you whipped out a gun and yelled, I'm the law, and then started shooting people. <laughs> I'm the law! So, I mean, really, media has no ground to stand on calling Usko a murderer and not giving any thought to, to a strange circumstance. To be fair, media was probably very drunk at the time. Media is always very drunk. Very, very, no, very that's, drunk. that's not true. <laughs> always true. It, it no. is always true. Like, really, by the precepts of his religion, he should have... Usko should have killed him where he stood. 
No getting in the guard. No asking questions. Just smite. Good point. Yep. Yeah. Just go crazy. He never actually stopped. He argued. He argues point against you sending the letter, but he never tried to stop you from sending it. He has in no point actually ever impeded you and whatever you wanted, just offered his opinion. Anything that Usko, that you had perceived as Usko trying to kill the family, you were also a part of. And Usko would have listened to you if you said, if you wanted to say, we should stop for a second and think about the consequences and whether or not we really want to work with the law. He's got a point. Yep. True. I never did. I media never asked about that. Okay, that's I, she just got, I, she went and did her own thing. An argument. I've been trying to pry, probe for like a deeper reasoning. You have none. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> I'm realizing that now. God damn it. Uh, Although, to be fair, media never also. Uh, as far as media was concerned, for what you were saying, you know, that she wanted to free Ruby, she understood that what Ruby did was wrong, and she actually never tried to get Ruby out. She specifically stated in the letter that she wrote to the Queen, which you actually never got to read, I realize that now, <laughs> that... She basically laid out everything that we found out during the investigation. Barring Misery's involvement in, you know, being the bad luck force that caused the branch to fall. I did not mention that. Yeah. Um, there's also the fact that Ruby only came up in the conversation for a very short while. Um, mostly it was you accusing Usko of trying to murder a whole household. Uh, anyway, uh, are we like done for today? Then? We'll be right back. Or... Yeah, I guess we're done for today. If you don't want to keep going, I'll be right back. No, I right. want I want us all to level up and then go to the next town. That's, yeah. I mean, that's that's fair. I yeah. I kind of want to let's at least get like a first glimpse of the next town before we go anywhere else. I guess. Because I want to, or before we do anything else, because I kind of want to sell those bottles of fine yeah, but wine. What if something happens on the road though? Can't just then we have a, then we have ahead. a little mini we have a little mini fight charcoal everyone who's not here ah. can everyone who's not here can say they were sleeping and then we just die I'm pretty sure me me Uda and Usko and permafrost are all <laughs> capable of taking down whatever we may come in contact with. I don't know. Well, I'm, I, By have, I can choose a new extract thing now. So let's see. How yes. Bouncy body. Target's flesh becomes flexible and rubbery. <laughs> and he dead. <laughs> have to yeah. Look at that later. And I've then already got my... carbon up. Yeah. All I really need to do is roll my HP, get my uh, skill points. I already know what feed I'm choosing. And it's nice. gonna be slumber. And yay, um, I'll finally be able to do something aside from just laugh. As far as which fighter, is put people to sleep after feet. I laugh. As far as fighter feats, I'm actually torn as to which direction I want to go. Right now, I'm kind of working in like two different directions, and that's the cleave line and then the armor focus line. Which basically just gives me extra AC and allows me to use heavy armor more effectively. I just don't know where to go. Personally, I always preferred Cleave. But it's I mean, Cleave, Cleave is nice, especially with the ability to increase my thing's range to 10 feet. Yep. Oh yeah, that also means I get second level spells now. Huzzah! Oh yeah! Oh, can you, can you actually do more things than just fire off uh, cold rays that don't seem and to go anywhere? And laugh at well, people. to be fair, I've always had, like, a... I actually had, like, a uh, a rhyme snowball on my spell wrist list ready to use, but I have not I had no idea how far we were going to be able to go down that place. I was saving it, so... I... 
I expected to run into more stuff than just dire rats. Yeah, so me too, I, honestly. That's why I was I'm saving gonna... that damn snowball. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little sad that I did not get to do much with Hazy Thoughts, but that's all right. Anyway. I, I now have a bag of holding for media, which I can use to put uh, most of my stuff in and get more space in my chest to put other things. Yep. Oh, my. So are we done for today, though? Guess we're done for today, yeah. Good. Then I'm gonna stop the recording. Here. Yeah, unless you Bye, unless everybody. you want to do stuff. Oh, no, okay. Uh, I'd rather I'd rather have you advance in um on the map when everybody's here to see. Yeah, it. and we'll be all leveled up. All right, that's fine. Mm -hmm. so yeah. I'm gonna stop here.